Chapter 101 Looking Down Disdainfully Translator Born to be Long Chen Seeing that figure, everyone's heart madly pounded. Long Chen had actually managed to make it back at this critical moment. Originally, Chu Yao had already closed her eyes, waiting for death. But opening her eyes and seeing that familiar figure she had been longing to see, her tears began to flow out of her control. Sorry I'm late. Long Chen hugged Chu Yao and gently patted her back. Don't worry, I'll handle everything. Suddenly, an angry roar rang out. The soldiers, who had been tightly encircling the Long household's people, let out frightened cries. Without realizing it, a huge snow white wolf had appeared in front of them. Opening its mouth, a wind blade shot out. That wind blade was like a rapidly whirling crescent moon. As soon as it left little snow's mouth, it immediately multiplied in size and mercilessly cut down the soldiers in front. That terrifying wind blade cut them down like a sickle going through grass. Over a hundred soldiers that had been in its path were all cut to pieces, blood filling the sky. Good job, little snow. Do your best to kill them for me, shouted Long Chen. He was filled with killing intent for these people which were surrounding his household. Whether it was voluntary or not, he would definitely never forgive people who hurt those he was close to. If he had been late just a single step just now, Chu Yao and his mother would have definitely died. That was the thing that frightened him the most. So he wouldn't show any mercy. Roar. Little Snow shot out a wind blade once more. The space in front of him immediately became empty of living enemies. Those soldiers were all terrified by the appearance of such a powerful magical beast and ran away. Little Snow's two attacks immediately relieved the pressure on them. The two tendon transformation experts Long Shiang Xiao had brought along worked together with Shi Feng and the others to drive back the attackers. Mom, your son has been unfilial and made you suffer. Long Chen couldn't help but feel ashamed when he looked at his mother's haggard face. Foolish child, what suffering has your mom endured? You are the one who has had to endure pain. Although she didn't know exactly what had been happening with Long Chen during this time, she definitely knew his days had not been better off. Looking at the travel-weary Long Chen, her heart hurt for him. Long Chen was about to say something when his expression suddenly changed. He had just noticed Wild and quickly rushed over to him. Wild's face was now a sickly yellow color. His eyes were sunk in, and his aura was incredibly weak. His life force was like a flickering candle that might be extinguished at any moment. After all, no matter how powerful a person was, they would never be able to forever endure that many bone-eroding needles. Wild, who was on his deathbed, slowly opened his eyes when he heard Long Chen's voice. He spoke as if he had been relieved of a great burden. Sorry brother Long, Wild is too stupid and useless. I failed the mission you entrusted me and hurt mom so greatly. No, you did very well. But now I'll handle everything. Long Chen cut him off. Wild was covered in bone eroding needles and was on his last breath. Killing intent soared within him. The pain of a bone eroding needle was something that a pill cultivator like him was completely aware of. Having tormented an originally sturdy man into such a state, Long Chen's anger was almost enough to make him explode. Brother Long, I might not be able to go on. Wild was a bit ashamed. Nonsense. With me here, you definitely won't die. You still have to fight alongside me in the future. Long Chen took out a pearl from his ring. That was something which that expert from the spirit world had given him right as she was leaving. That wasn't really a true pearl, but a sphere of liquid. But it was so dense that it seemed just like a pearl. An extremely powerful life essence was contained within it. Long Chen pressed down on the pearl with his finger and a sparkling droplet of liquid floated out of it and went into Wild's mouth. As soon as that drop entered Wild's body, he actually gradually began to awaken from his almost dead state. Bear with the pain. I'll remove those needles. Seeing that it had been effective, Long Chen began to use his spiritual strength. Those dozens of bone eroding needles were all carefully extracted by his spiritual strength. Wild let out a pained groan and fainted. Long Chen gave Wild a quick examination. He realized Wild's body had entered a state of suspended animation in order to protect itself. The strong life essence he had given him was currently slowly spreading throughout his body and he wouldn't be in any danger, but he would be unable to fight for a while. After telling Baoer and the others to look after Wild, Long Chen looked around. With the addition of Little Snow, those soldiers that were still continuously pouring over from every direction were now unable to break through their defensive ring. Long Chen's arrival had impacted Shi Feng and the others greatly. They felt themselves become filled with strength and they fought on even more valiantly. Only at this moment did Long Chen have the time to carefully examine the battlefield. A couple of miles away were huge blazes that were continuously colliding. 
that was the place where Grand Master Yan Qi was fighting Wei Kang and Wang Luoyang. In another place was a tall and muscular man. The saber in his hands danced as he valiantly fought against three tendon transformation experts. Seeing that figure, Long Chen's heart warmed. That was his father that he had not seen in many years. But that impression of him from his childhood was still as clear as ever. Long Chen smiled, waving his hand over the ground. He collected those bone-eroding needles. Raising and placing his broadsword on his shoulder, he began to walk out. When he arrived at where Shi Fen was fighting against the invading soldiers, he slashed out his sword and over a dozen soldiers at the front were immediately blown back. You're a good brother. Long Chen patted Shi Fen's shoulders. To stand by his long household side even at this time, he was definitely a true life and death brother. I'll let you guys handle this place. I'll go over there and settle an old grudge with Marquis Ying. Long Chen didn't wait for Shi Fen to say anything before walking out just like that. Long Chen had managed to block an attack from Marquis Ying as soon as he had arrived, shocking everyone. Seeing him slowly walk out now, those soldiers couldn't help but tremble and slowly fell back a couple of steps. What are you afraid of? It's just one person. Everyone attack together. As long as we kill Long Chen, our families will live in riches for generations to come. A loud shout immediately stirred up everyone's passions. No matter how strong Long Chen was, he wouldn't be able to block their huge army of hundreds of thousands of men. They would definitely be able to tire him to death. The soldiers roared and raised their weapons, charging over at Long Chen like a powerful tide. But Long Chen seemed to have not even seen them, merely looking over to the distant Marquis Ying. Careful, Shi Feng shouted in alarm. Seeing that Long Chen ignored those soldiers, he nervously called out a warning Long Chen still seemed to act like he hadn't heard him. Still walking in his original direction, he was immediately submerged by the huge army. Pill flame wave. Suddenly, a huge wave of fire roared and immediately spread hundreds of meters. The rolling waves of heat swallowing up the surrounding soldiers. A-H-H-H. Miserable screams rang out as the terrifying flame turned them into fire people. The people closest to Long Chen didn't even have the chance to shout out before being directly turned to ashes. As for the ones that were further away. Only they had had the opportunity to scream to their heart's content. However, those screams were all cut short, and in just a breath's time, everything became eerily silent. The soldiers were all completely horrified and hastily fled. They now realized that Long Chen was also a pill cultivator with a terrifyingly powerful pill flame. Flames surged all over Long Chen's body. It was impossible to see him clearly, but they could tell his huge sword was still hung over his shoulder as he was slowly walking forward. From the start, Long Chen hadn't paused his steps. Those people that had blocked him were treated as just dust on his path. As he slowly walked, his pill flame scorched the land and filled the soldiers with fear. It was as if a flame god had descended down and was filled with disdain for everything and everyone. No one dared to go block Long Chen again. Instead, they all began to retreat, and an open path appeared in front of Long Chen. Chu Yao was filled with emotion as she looked upon that godlike back. He was always so reliable never disappointing anyone. Shi Feng, Fatty Yu, and the others had their passions ignited even further as they watched Long Chen's back. He walked right through an army of hundreds of thousands. His enemies were nothing to him and none dared to block him. Just how imposing was that? Having been impacted by that scene, those soldiers that were originally full of spirit became sluggish, their morale plummeting. That relieved a great deal of pressure on Shi Feng and them. After all, their goal wasn't to exterminate their enemies but just to defend. Otherwise, with Chu Yao and those two tendon transformation experts, killing a path out of the army would have been extremely easy. However, they had to properly protect Mrs. Long and the others. If a soldier managed to charge through their blockade because they were busy attacking, that would be a complete disaster. And so they were unable to truly fight freely. Luckily, Little Snow had now joined them. A second rank magical beast was even more intimidating than a tendon transformation expert in their eyes. Although Little Snow's wind blades could only be used after saving up energy for a while, his actual physical body was so tough that their spears were completely unable to pierce his skin. Just like that, Long Chen walked out of their encirclement. He rushed over to his father's side. As for those soldiers, he couldn't be bothered to kill them. His mother had many guards, and those ordinary soldiers were completely unable to approach her. Right now there was something more important for him to do. His true enemy was right in front of him. As for the fourth prince, he had immediately felt uneasy when Long Chen had appeared. Seeing Long Chen's current display of strength and confidence, 
It seemed the present was starting to deviate far from his original plan. If he didn't have misjivings about that person, he might even have had an urge to run. The fourth prince suddenly turned to Xia Yao My army has already gone out. It's time for your side to also start moving. Xia Yao mockingly smiled. Are you ordering me? Or begging me? The fourth prince was speechless for a moment. He cursed every single member of his maternal family inside, knowing that this bastard truly was incomparably sinister. He had only sent out a single tendon transformation expert from his side to maintain appearances, but he was just purposely watching as the Phoenix Cry Empire fought irreconcilably against the Long household. That was to lower Phoenix Cry's military might. After Chu Xia obtained the Phoenix Cry Empire, if its strength was already greatly lowered, they would have to rely on the Grand Xia in order to survive. We are working together. It'd be best for you to understand that. The fourth prince ground his teeth. I'm not working with you. Since the person I'm working with hasn't said anything, I don't need to make any move. Xia Yao laughed mockingly. The fourth prince's expression immediately became ugly. Turning his head back, he saw a white-robed man sitting in a chair amongst a crowd of people, silently drinking tea. At the same time as anxiety filled the fourth prince's heart, Long Chen arrived at Long Shiang Xiao's battlefield. Looking at the familiar figure, Long Chen smiled slightly. Can you give one to me? Chapter 102 Shocking Everyone Translator Born to be Bang Long Shiang Xiao's blade sharply sped up, and with a cold shout, he collided with the three others. He took a few steps back and looked at Long Chen. Gratified. Excellent. As expected of my Long Shiang Xiao's son. This is how men should be. Everything Long Chen had done since arriving had been seen by him. That sniffling child that always followed behind him had already become a true man. Back when he had left, Long Chen had just been a child who only knew how to cry. But in the blink of an eye, he had grown up. He felt both gratified and as if he had lost something. His greatest regret was that he hadn't been able to accompany Long Chen as he grew up. The bitterness Long Chen had had to suffer over these years was something he was extremely aware of. It was also precisely because of that suffering that Long Chen, who should still be an immature teen, had matured earlier and become a man capable of supporting heaven and earth, someone who could be relied on to block the wind and rain of life. Seeing that Long Chen had arrived, Marquis Ying and the others paused. Marquis Ying's face was especially ugly. Last time he had only managed to return half dead. That was all because of Long Chen. Seeing him standing there as healthy as ever, he was filled with resentment. Long Chen. Last time you were lucky. Do you still think you can flee again? Flee? But it seems that the person who fled at the end last time wasn't me, was it? Long Chen coldly laughed. Marquis Ying's face immediately turned purple from rage. Long Chen's words were no different than giving him an open slap on the face. Back then, he had chased Long Chen only to be sent fleeing from Long Chen's sword. A tendon transformation expert had been sent fleeing from a key condensation novice. Was there anything else in the world that could be so ridiculous? The other three people, including Long Shiang Xiao, were all shocked. Marquis Wu, who had known that Marquis Ying had been severely injured, had once asked him about his injuries, but Marquis Ying had refused to say the slightest. But now from what the two of them were saying and then adding on Marquis Ying's expression, they could all infer some clues. And it was precisely because they managed to guess what had happened that they were so shocked. Ha ha ha, this is how my Long Shiang Xiao's son should be. Excellent. Today us father and son will join hands and let them see the grandness of our Long family's men. Long Shiang Xiaos laughed heartily. He had already learned from Chen Fei that Long Chen's growth had been extremely rapid. Chen Fei himself, a peak blood condensation expert, had been completely under Long Chen's control. But Long Shiang Xiao knew that that had just been luck. Long Chen had relied on alchemy to take advantage of him. And Chen Fei also wasn't truly trying to fight against him. So when he had heard Chen Fei's praise, he had merely smiled slightly. However, seeing Long Chen appear on the battlefield like this, crushing Marquis Ying's spear, advancing through a huge army like it was nothing, displaying his imposingness, he knew that that was no fake. That kind of level was something only someone who had been tempered by repeatedly narrowly escaping death was capable of reaching. And now from their exchange of words, Long Shiang Xiao saw the domineering side of Long Chen. The current Long Chen possessed the air of a true expert. The situation was still as desperate as ever. But now that Long Chen had arrived, Long Shiang Xiao celebrated. He also wanted to see just how strong his son had grown. I'll go first. You focus on safety. Don't try to show off. Long Shiang Xiao quietly warned him and then dashed forward. 
many saber images appearing around him. The saber light was like a wave as it immediately engulfed the three of them. Obviously, Long Shiang Xiao was someone who cared deeply about his child. Even now, he was still afraid to put Long Chen in danger. After all, Long Chen was still too young. This kind of life and death battle was too dangerous. Looking at Long Shiang Xiao's back, Long Chen recalled how when he was young, his father would secretly bring him into the mountains for some adventures behind his mother's back. One time, Long Chen had been wielding a sword against a small wild boar. His father had taken the front while he assisted to the side, and the two had worked together to bring it down. Now over ten years had passed. That back still hadn't changed and was still as large and as imposing as ever. But the slight widening of his hair caused Long Chen to feel wistful. Father, I've already grown up. Let me take the vanguard this time. Taking a look over their three opponents, Long Chen charged forward explosively, slashing at Marquis Ying. Marquis Ying had long since been on guard. If the question was who had the greatest understanding of Long Chen here, it would definitely have to be him. He was the only one who knew how powerful Long Chen was. If anyone underestimated him due to his youth, they would definitely be just asking for death. Seeing Long Chen charging over, Marquis Ying laughed coldly, taking a single step back. He retreated from Long Shiang Xiao's attack radius. Seeing that strange smile on Marquis Ying's face, Long Shiang Xiao couldn't help but feel alarmed. He had a profound understanding of this old opponent of his. Although his combat ability was inferior to his own by a level, his sinister schemes were definitely terrifying. Although he didn't know just what his plan was, he instinctively sped up over in that direction, wanting to lock him in a battle with him. But Marquis Wu and that expert from the Grand Xia had seen through Long Shiang Xiao's intentions. They exploded out with their full force, forcibly blocking him. Veins popped out on Marquis Ying's forehead and an unprecedentedly powerful aura sword. His sword shook and immediately a powerful explosive sound that sent key waves surging rang out. Careful, it's an earth class battle skill. Long Shiang Xiao was greatly startled. He hadn't expected Marquis Ying to use an earth class battle skill at this time. Even a tendon transformation expert would only be able to use such a thing twice in one battle. Earth class battle skills were frighteningly terrifying, but the exhaustion rate was also accordingly great. It would quickly use up all your spiritual key, and unless you were forced to, you would rarely ever use one. And so during their battle up until this point, the four of them had yet to use any earth class battle skills. That was because if they didn't manage to kill someone with it, then the situation would become extremely dangerous. Long Shiang Xiao had yet to use one because he was never certain of being able to kill the three in front of him. There were also three other tendon transformation experts watching him from the side like tigers stalking their prey. And so they had all kept their trump cards in reserve. But now Marquis Ying decided to use one of those trump cards on just Long Chen. That was definitely out of Long Shiang Xiao's expectations. That just wasn't common sense. Of course. If Long Shiang Xiao had known that Marquis Ying had almost died under Long Chen's hands, he definitely wouldn't be thinking like that. Long Chen looked at Marquis Ying's smile and thought to himself, You're smiling? I hope you can still smile afterwards. His Feng Fu star activated, and his body's ki began to wildly circulate. Waves of ki shot out from his body. Even Long Shiang Xiao and the other two were startled by that. But by the time they sensed the change in his aura, Long Chen had already charged over in front of Marquis Ying. Parting wind slash, breaking void slash, boom. The explosive sound from their collision shook the entire battlefield, suppressing all the other sounds. The earth trembled, making it so everyone was stumbling. The aftershocks horrifying them. People only managed to see the two of them collide before a cloud of dust filled the sky. Even Long Shiang Xiao and the other two were shaken back and retreated, looking on in shock. One figure was blown out of the dust and tumbled across the ground several times. The powerful force that had blown him back had left behind a long scar on the hard ground. That person vomited blood. There were also some broken pieces of his inner organs in there. The white-robed man, who had been indifferently sipping tea in the back of the crowd, accidentally tightened his grip in shock, causing the tea to splash over his body. Slowly taking out a handkerchief and wiping up the tea, he muttered to himself, he's comparable to a top talent. How unfortunate. When the dust settled, a huge crater appeared in everyone's eyes. Long Chen was still standing in front of that crater, his black hair dancing in the wind, and his broadsword still maintaining his downward slash posture. On the other side of the crater, Marquis Ying was a complete mess. He looked at Long Chen in complete shock and horror. Blood. Condensation. 
A faint blood key was coming out from Long Chen's body, causing the surrounding space to twist. That clearly told everyone he had stepped into the blood condensation realm. Long Chen's figure suddenly disappeared, and when he once more emerged, he was already at Mark Wishing's side. His speed was so fast that people couldn't believe their own eyes. Long Chen didn't waste the slightest bit of time on useless words. After advancing into the blood condensation realm, his speed and power had both sharply risen. His usage of the wind-chasing steps had reached the pinnacle, and as soon as he arrived, his sword sliced sideways. Parting wind slice, Marquis Ying's expression changed, not expecting Long Chen to follow up so quickly with another move like this. Normally, tendon transformation experts would all need to store up energy in order to use Earth-class battle skills, but Long Chen seemed to be able to consecutively use them without pause. Their last exchange had heavily injured Marquis Ying and the current move Long Chen was using didn't seem the slightest bit weaker in terms of aura. He was scared witless. His sword had been shattered into pieces during their last exchange. After all, Long's wards were never suited to clashing through using force. Now he was weaponless as Long Chen's sword sliced over. Marquis Ying hastily took out five thick shields and lined them up between him and Long Chen. At the same time, he forced down the pain and quickly jumped back. He didn't have the slightest hope that those shields would be able to block Long Chen's attack. He only hoped to gain enough time to flee from Long Chen's attack range. Boom. Those huge shields that had been made from the finest steel essence were like paper in front of Long Chen's attack, immediately blown apart by his terrifying astral wind. Although Mark Wis Ying had quickly retreated, he had no idea that Long Chen's Earth-class battle skill was actually capable of long-distance attacks. Mark Wis Ying was struck midair and was like a kite whose string had been caught, falling from the sky. Parting wind stab, a cold shout that sounded as if it had come from the god of death from the depths of the underworld rang in Mark Wis Ying's ears. Mark Wis Ying's body, which had been falling, suddenly stopped midair. A broadsword had pierced his stomach. The other end of the broadsword was in Long Chen's hand. Everyone was deathly silent, other than Grandmaster Yun Qi's battlefield which couldn't see what had happened. Everyone paused. They all looked over at Long Chen in shock. Mark Wis Ying looked in disbelief at his stomach. He couldn't even feel any pain. All he felt was his body growing colder and colder. Slowly raising his head, he followed along the broadsword's length to look upon its master. A pair of emotionless eyes stared back at him. Ying Xiao, back when you tried to kill me, I already said that since my father was able to sever your finger, I will sever your head. He pulled his broadsword out of Mark Wis Ying's stomach and slashed it across the air. A head flew up and tumbled to the ground. When the men of the Long family say we'll do something, we do it. Now you believe it, right? Chapter 103 Fierce Battle Translator Born to be everything was deathly silent. Only Long Chen's voice echoed throughout the field. His domineering words were like a huge hammer that smashed into the core of people's hearts. Leaning on his broadsword which was stabbed into the ground, it was as if he were the only person in the world. Even as he just motionlessly stood there, his imposing manner caused people to be awed. Suddenly he swung his sword, flinging the blood upon it off. In front of everyone's gazes, he began to walk over to the fourth prince. His broadsword dragged along the ground as he walked. Its terrifying weight left a deep scar on the ground. That soft sound as it cut across the ground sounded incredibly loud in people's ears. The fourth prince's expression changed. His first reaction when Long Chen looked at him was terror. He felt as if a god of death had locked onto him. Go kill Long Chen. At this moment, the white-robed man who hadn't spoken up until this point put down his teacup. Thinking for a moment, he then added, If you can't kill him, you guys also don't need to live anymore. Xia Yao expression changed, but he didn't dare retort. Coldly glancing at the fourth prince, he told the two people behind him, Go. Long Chen was in the midst of walking forward when three people charged over at him. They were Xia Yao and the two other tendon transformation experts. One of them, the one who no longer had a nose, had almost been killed by Long Shiang Xiao at the beginning. Die. Those three weren't the slightest bit careless after having seen Long Chen defaturing Marquis Ying, a veteran tendon transformation expert. In just three moves, they exploded out with their full force as they attacked Long Chen. Xia Yao Ayu held a steel spear in his hands with a black light shining over it. He was the first to attack, and an ear-piercing sonic boom rang out. In the distance. Long Shiang Xiao was completely shocked. Although Xia Yao Ai was the Grand Xia's emperor, his cultivation base was extremely high. Back when the two empires had been waging war against each other, he had once fought against him. But back then, 
the two of them had been completely evenly matched without either able to gain an advantage. Later, Xia Yao ascended the throne and the two empires' relationship improved. No other conflicts like that occurred again. Seeing his attack today, Long Shiang Xiao noticed that despite being emperor, Xia Yao's cultivation base hadn't fallen at all. In fact, his cultivation base was even more refined than before. His dedication to cultivating was also why Xia Yao only had two sons. The imperial palace had countless concubines, but he was not at all absorbed with their female charm. That kind of willpower shocked others. Long Shiang Xiao cared deeply about his beloved son and was afraid he would be unable to survive. He decided to quickly kill his two opponents and go help him. Although Long Chen had revealed a completely shocking battle strength, using three Earth-class battle skills consecutively, he was still too young. He was just in the blood condensation realm. Long Shiang Xiao didn't even know how he had managed to use Earth-class battle skills consecutively. But no matter what, three Earth-class battle skills would greatly exhaust one spiritual key. Even tendon transformation experts would have run out of spiritual key. That was what Long Shiang Xiao was most worried about. Boom. Marquis Wu and the other expert worked together to block one of Long Shiang Xiao's attacks, but their inner organs were greatly shaken the two of them shivered. Only when three of them had worked together had they managed to just barely draw a tie against Long Shiang Xiao. Now that Marquis Ying had died, they were immediately unable to endure and became strained. Unfortunately, they couldn't retreat at this point. Both sides had become like water and fire without any possibility of reconciliation. Retreat only meant death. The only option was to continue resisting. They weren't hoping to kill Long Shiang Xiao. They were merely hoping the others could quickly kill Long Chen and then come to help them. Seeing Xia Yao's thrust, Long Chen didn't dare be overconfident. His broadsword hacked in front of him. Boom. When the sword and spear collided, both parties had to retreat several steps. They both looked at the other in shock. Long Chen hadn't expected this luxuriously dressed man to be so strong. In terms of pure power, he was an even match for him. Once Long Chen had advanced to blood condensation, his ki and blood had merged, and his strength had explosively grown. Despite Marquis Ying being a tendon transformation expert, he could already completely ignore him. But Xia Yao had surprisingly blocked his sword. Although neither of them had used their full strength, Long Chen could tell that this person was much, much stronger than Marquis Ying. Excellent. In all these years, other than Long Shiang Xiao, you are the only one who could receive a blow from me. Xia Yao shook out his slightly numb hand. Although Xia Yao was the emperor of the Grand Xia Empire, he was absolutely obsessed with battle. Furthermore, due to his extraordinary strength, his combat ability was unmatched. In his entire life, when fighting against the same realm, other than Long Shiang Xiao, no one had ever been a match for him. In fact, he had managed to become emperor because of his powerful fists. Having his hand turned slightly numb because of one of Long Chen's attack, he was absolutely shocked. But since he absolutely could not show weakness, he ended up boasting confidently. That doesn't mean you're strong. All it means is that you're a frog in a well who hasn't seen the world. Long Chen coldly snorted. He disliked these kinds of fakers the most, especially those who boasted so confidently without any true strength. Bastard. Let me see just what qualifications you have to be so insolent. Xia Yaoi was infuriated by Long Chen's words. As an emperor, being insulted like this by a teenager was a complete humiliation. His spear shot out. A lotus blossomed on the spur tip as it thrust towards Long Chen. The previous attack had just been a probing attack. He had seen Long Chen kill Marquis Ying in just three moves. And while he was sure that he could also defaturing Marquis Ying, he definitely could not kill him within three moves. A seventh vestige of tendon transformation expert was not a simple opponent. So he was actually filled with dread towards Long Chen. Inside he was far from as relaxed as he appeared on the outside. In their previous exchange that had focused on brute strength, he hadn't been able to gain even the slightest advantage. So this new attack was based on skill and technique. Within a thousand spear images that formed a lotus, his true attack was perfectly hidden. If an opponent guessed wrongly, he would have obtained a chance to kill them in a single blow. That was one of his best moves. The instant Xia Yao sent this spear attack, the other two experts also attacked. One held a scimitar while the other held a sickle completely sealing off any of his possible escape paths. Seeing those three tendon transformation experts attack him at the same time, Long Chen's eyes brightened with excitement. Tightly gripping his broadsword in both hands, he coldly shouted, Whirlwind Slash. Following his shout, 
His broadsword slashed in a circle. Waves of ki rolled off from Long Chen into the sky just like a hurricane. People were unable to see just what was happening inside that pillar-like hurricane. Suddenly, explosive ringing came from within. It sounded like just one sound, but at the same time, it sounded like multiple collisions. Three sorry figures flew out after that ringing. People were shocked to see that it was Xia Yao Ayu's group of three. Xia Yao Ayu stabbed his spear into the ground but was still blown back over 30 meters despite doing his best to stop. An unhealthy red color rose onto his face. He had clearly suffered an injury. As for the other two, they were not as powerful as Xia Yao Ayu. They were sent tumbling back over a hundred meters before stopping. One of them slowly stood up and directly vomited blood. As for the other, that was the man whose nose had been removed by Long Shiang Xiao. He vomited out mouthful after mouthful of blood, in the end fainting directly. The hurricane finally came to a pause, slowly revealing Long Chen. Some people almost forgot to breath when they saw him. First, he managed to defeat Chiringa Tendon Transformation Expert in just three blows. And now he had used one attack to completely force back three experts. This Long Chen was basically a freak. The white-robed man in the distance finally revealed a shocked expression. Long Chen's combat strength caused him to think of those monsters from his sect. He was just an outer disciple in the sect this time he had managed to obtain an enormous fortune. As long as he completed the sect's mission, he could be promoted to become an inner disciple. Then he would also obtain the sect elder's personal nurturing. And above the inner disciples were the even higher-ranked core disciple monsters. Those people were all known to be unrevealed within their realm. Their terrifying talent and strength could cause anyone to go mad from envy. As for Long Chen's current display of strength, while it wasn't enough for the white-robed man to become afraid, he knew that Long Chen was still just at the blood condensation realm. With his talent, he could easily stand side by side with those monster-class geniuses. At the same time as he was shocked, he also felt another uncomfortable feeling. That was perhaps jealousy, an intense, uncontrollable jealousy. Becoming an inner disciple was his life's goal. As for a core disciple, that was something he didn't even dare to think about. But if the sect were to learn of Long Chen, they would definitely do everything they could no matter the price to have him join the sect, and they would make him a core disciple immediately. A cold light flashed in the white-robed man's eyes. Long Chen had to die. It wasn't only just because he was his chis piece, but also because he didn't want another monster-class genius to emerge. Long Chen let out a turbid breath. The whirlwind slash was as powerful as he had expected, but the exhaustion was also too terrifying. This move was something Long Chen had personally come up with. It was based on the three style parting wind's various styles. So rather than saying he had come up with it himself, it would be more accurate to say that he had improved upon the three style parting wind. After familiarizing himself with the three style parting wind, he had noticed that its principles were quite excellent and not as rigid as other moves. There was a great deal of room for freedom. He had improved upon the principle of the parting wind slice, increasing the speed and power, and then adding on the spinning of a martial weapon to form a tornado astral wind attack that created an area attack that blocked everything around him. Previously, Long Chen had only tested it a bit and found the effect to be quite good. Being attacked by three experts, Long Chen had been a bit afraid that its power wouldn't be enough, and so he had used his full force to attack without holding anything back. The result was that its power was absolutely shocking, but the price was also very great as well. After just that one attack, he felt that he had used up over half of his spiritual key. Long Chen stamped on the ground and charged over. The whirlwind slash's power was a pleasant surprise, but the battle hadn't ended yet. His broadsword came slashing down at Xia Yaoyu. Xia Yaoyu still hadn't recovered from that previous attack, and seeing him attack again, he couldn't help being horrified. Long Chen was practically a never tiring monster. He took a deep breath. He knew that if he still didn't use his full force, he really would be done for. His entire body's spiritual key surged out and madly flowed into his spear. Crack. The ground beneath his feet began to crack, and the shock in his eyes was replaced with confidence. He thrust his spear forward to meet Long Chen, its power causing the air around it to tremble. Cliff destruction thrust, an earth shattering thrust. This was Xia Yaoyu's most powerful attack. It swiftly reached Long Chen. Long Chen was immediately locked in place by that terrifying aura. Although he had never underestimated Xia Yaoyu, he had never expected him to possess such a powerful attack. This was definitely something that could threaten his life. His Feng Fu star circulated and spiritual key immediately passed through his acupuncture points. 
A strange light appeared over his broadsword. Then let's decide victory in one final move. Chapter 104 White Robed Man Translator Born to be a faint red light appeared over Long Chen's broadsword. As soon as that red light appeared, it explosively grew, enveloping the broadsword in blazing flames. A twisting fire dragon appeared over his broadsword. It was hardly different at all to the flame weapons condensed by Grandmaster Yun Qi and the two other pill masters. It likewise emitted an absolutely terrifyingly high temperature. After advancing to the blood condensation realm and having his meridians widen, the beast flame that had been nourished inside also grew along with them, becoming increasingly stronger. Although there was no way for him to condense true flame weapons like Grandmaster Yun Qi, he was still able to have his pill flame adhere to his weapon. This was a trick that came from Long Chen's memories. According to what he remembered, this move should be able to greatly increase his attack strength. But it was the first time he was using it in this life. Boom. The twisting flame dragon on his sword slammed into Xia Yao Ayu's spear, and a terrifying blaze engulfed the two of them. A-H-H. -H. A miserable scream rang out and a figure hastily flew out of the ring of fire. That figure had already become completely covered in fire and was doing his best to pat out the flames. Long Chen had been struck by Xia Yao Ayu's retaliatory force and was forced back step after step, his ki and blood quivering. Xia Yao Ayu truly was strong, but Long Chen's own attack had even frightened himself. Originally, he had thought that adding the pill flame to the weapon was just a way of amplifying his strength. He had never thought it was practically a joke move. The pill flame he had condensed on his broadsword had immediately flowed into Xia Yao Ayu's weapon automatically and released itself. It was the complete opposite of what Long Chen had thought it was. It didn't adhere to the weapon to increase its strength. Instead, it used the spiritual key inside the weapon to increase its own flame strength and explode out. During their collision just now, the pill flame on his broadsword had leaked out, immediately engulfing Xia Yao Ayu. This was practically a scoundrel technique. As long as your opponent went to block you, your pill flame would explode out and envelop them. This was a technique that would play your opponents to death. Xia Yao Ai was doing his best to pat out the flames all over his body, but that was pill flame, not normal fire. Even if he used his spiritual key to resist it, he would still be burnt all over. What no one had expected was that Xia Yao Ai suddenly jumped into the air and dived straight into the ground feet first. Only his head stayed above the ground. Long Chen was slightly surprised. Thinking about it, that was probably the only method for him to extinguish those flames at this time. Although Pill Flame was a terrifying existence, Xia Yao Ai was a tendon transformation expert. The flames would only give him slight wounds and wouldn't pose any threat to his life. But while he could resist it, his clothes were unable to do the same. Despite his clothes being made from the highest quality materials and also possessing their own defensive strength, in front of Pill Flame, they were unable to endure for long. Once they were burnt away, he would only be able to face everyone in his most primitive skin a generation's emperor, a grand tendon transformation expert, to have to stand there butt naked in front of everyone's eyes, that was probably a worse feeling than being killed. Seeing Xia Yao Ayu bore into the ground, Long Chen paused, distracted for a moment, then without even thinking about, he slammed his broadsword down. His terrifying strength created a long ditch that extended across the land with countless cracks spreading from it. The earth shook and Xia Yao Ayu was sent flying out miserably. He immediately vomited out blood as soon as he was forced out. This time, Xia Yao Ayu had made a fatal mistake. Having gone into the ground, there was no way for him to dodge Long Chen's next attack. Then adding on the restriction of the earth, he ended up receiving a heavy injury. Xia Yao Ayu had only just come out of the earth when an arrow shot through his chest like lightning, bringing with it a mist of blood as it passed out his body. Long Chen was startled and turned his head. In the distance, Long Shiang Xiao was holding a bow its string still quivering. Not far from him were Marquis Wu and the other tendon transformation expert. They were already collapsed on the ground, their surroundings a complete mess. All fights are life and death battles. You can't give up even the slightest opportunity. Killing your enemy with the least effort is the right path. Long Shiang Xiao was slightly out of breath and his face was somewhat pale. He had ended his battle as fast as possible since he had been worried about Long Chen. After using his full strength to defeat Ring two of them, even he was out of spiritual key and felt overdrawn. But when he saw Long Chen's sword smash into the ground, he had immediately predicted what would happen and had taken out his bow, waiting for his opportunity. When it came to combat experience, the difference between Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao, who had experienced hundreds of battles, was not just a bit. 
Xia Yao difficultly looked down at his own chest. Long Shiang Xiao's arrow had destroyed his heart. The berserk energy had severed his life force. How could this happen? Xia Yao collapsed to the ground, dead. His unfocused eyes were bewildered and unwilling. An emperor died just like that. After Xia Yao died, the Grand Xia's army could no longer be controlled. Hundreds of thousands of troops immediately fled for their lives. Today, they had been completely filled with terror. This kind of battle was something that they were simply unable to participate in. They had already seen the Phoenix Cry Empire's Grand Army greedily attack the Long Household. That tide-like army had been unable to break through their defenses from the very beginning. Instead, it was their corpses that were piled up like mountains, and their blood that dyed the earth red. It wasn't that they hadn't seen blood before, but this kind of slaughter was something that provoked their most primal feelings of fear. Now that the Grand Xia's tendon transformation experts were toppling one after another and their empire's ruler had been killed, how could they possibly wish to continue sending themselves to their deaths? Disregarding all the officers' warnings, they all fled. The Grand Xia's elite troops all fled like stray dogs. The Phoenix Cry Empire's troops only watched them foolishly. The current situation of the battlefield had been completely reversed. The Long family's father and son were completely shocking. They had killed tendon transformation experts consecutively, none able to stop them. Those troops, who had still been vainly trying to kill the Long household's people, turned completely stupid at this time. They also wanted to run, but they were unable to. Even if they ran, their families couldn't. They were filled with regret and all withdrew to watch from a distance. In any case, the only thing they could do at this time was watch. But before the battle reached its conclusion, they wouldn't dare easily make any moves again. This wasn't just something that involved their lives, but it could also implicate their families. Long Chen smiled slightly towards Long Shiang Xiao. He felt that no matter how much stronger he became, he would still be that snotty nosed child in front of Long Shiang Xiao. Looking at the current battle situation, other than Grand Master Yun Qi's side, the entire battlefield had already become still. Chu Yao and the others who were protecting the Long household were now completely safe. Swinging his sword back up, he slowly began walking towards the appalled fourth prince. Chu Xia, in all your great scheming, did you ever think that this would be the conclusion? Long Chen asked icily. The fourth prince looked back at Long Chen with complicated expression. His voice was somewhat rough as he said, I really did never calculate that this would happen. Or perhaps this is what it means by man proposes, but God disposes. At this point, he remembered what Grand Master Yun Qi had told him. What a true saying. His plan had been absolutely flawless, but it had turned up like this. Who could have possibly predicted this? His plans were originally focused on Long Shiang Xiao, but what should have been a simple chess piece, Long Chen, ended up growing so much stronger that he completely overturned the chessboard. Now he had lost greatly. Now that it's come to this, I also won't make it hard on you. Tell me, who was it who stole my spirit root, dug out my spirit bone, and took my spirit blood? Tell me and I can give you a painless death. Long Chen closely glared at the fourth prince. Even with his self-control, Long Chen still found himself breathing harder than usual. The truth about this matter was finally about to come to light. Even he couldn't keep his calm. He had to know who had been so malicious to turn him from a talented genius to a crippled piece of trash. Just why had someone done this? The distant Long Shiang Xiao's expression changed. He looked at Long Chen distractedly and a complicated expression appeared on his face as he sighed. The fourth prince, however, was startled. What are you talking about? Long Chen's heart was greatly shaken. He had been closely monitoring the fourth prince with his spiritual strength. With his powerful soul, the fourth prince would definitely not be able to lie in front of him. But then, that meant the fourth prince really knew nothing about it. Just what was going on? So he wasn't the same as Chu Yao and Chu Fang? The scheme against his body wasn't done by Marquis Ying? Long Chen paused distractedly. If it wasn't Marquis Ying, then who could it possibly be? He took a deep breath. Although he was greatly disappointed, he knew that the fourth prince did not have the ability to trick him now. Since it's like that, there's nothing else from me. Is there still something you want to say at this point? Long Chen looked at the fourth prince. Obviously, Long Chen was already completely prepared to kill the fourth prince. He hadn't figured out the whole story yet, but the person who had targeted his long family like this, no matter who it was or why they were doing it, definitely couldn't be forgiven. The fourth prince sighed. He looked at Long Chen complicatedly. I really never thought that after carefully planning for so many years, the final result is such a loss. 
Although I'm a bit confused about this loss, I truly am unable to feel even the slightest doubt. Long Chen, you are the first person I have ever admired. To die under the hands of someone you admire, I guess you should be able to die contented. Long Chen nodded. Ha ha ha. Kill me? Ha ha ha. The fourth prince laughed heartily, his eyes filled with disdain. Do you think you've already won? You're wrong. Even if I die, you will also die in front of me. Long Chen no longer wasted any time on words. Carrying his broadsword, he charged at the fourth prince. A dozen blood condensation experts rushed in front of him. Those people were all death warriors who the fourth prince had groomed. Despite facing off against someone they couldn't possibly win against, they didn't show any fear as they attacked him with their weapons. With a single slash of his sword, sword key completely swept them away. In front of Long Chen, those people didn't possess the slightest ability to resist. Having removed all the barriers with a single slash, he stamped on the ground, rushing straight at the fourth prince while slashing down his sword. Suddenly, another person appeared in front of the fourth prince. He lightly grabbed the broadsword's tip with a single hand. That sword that weighed several tons was actually easily stopped. Chapter 105 Terrifying White-Robed Man Translator Born to be Long Chen's eyes narrowed as he looked upon this white-robed man. However, he didn't show any great astonishment. As soon as he had arrived, he had immediately sensed a pair of eyes focused on him. Originally, there wasn't much hostility in them, but as he killed the tendon transformation experts one after another, that hostility became increasingly dense. In the end, Long Chen could clearly sense that this person was behind the fourth prince. But for that person to be able to so easily receive one of his blows was definitely surprising. The white-robed man's appearance shocked everyone. Long Shiang Xiao hastily rushed to Long Chen's side, gravely keeping an eye on the white-robed man. You're the mastermind behind the scenes. Long Chen asked icily. I suppose, were you the one who messed with my body? He shook his head. I don't know just what exactly you're talking about. But in any case, don't think so highly of yourself. I don't need to scheme against a little ant. As soon as he finished speaking, a white light suddenly appeared over his hand, bending a single finger and flicking it on his sword. Long Chen felt the entire broadsword shake and he was sent flying back dozens of meters before stabilizing. Now Long Chen was greatly alarmed. That white-robed man hadn't revealed the slightest bit of his cultivation base. By just using a single finger's strength, his attack was on the same level as a full-force blow from a tendon transformation expert. You're from a sect. Long Shiang Xiao was completely bewildered. Someone about to die doesn't need to know that much, replied the white-robed man indifferently. Long Shiang Xiao gravely looked at him. He quietly whispered to Long Chen. Chen Er, I'll go block him. You run as far as you can. Seeing that Long Chen didn't understand, he quietly continued. The strength of people from the sects is far from what you can imagine. Us ordinary people are completely unable to compete against them. Their combat ability is incomparably terrifying. Long Chen shook his head. Sorry, I can't do that. Seeing Long Shiang Xiao's face sink, Long Chen didn't wait for him to say anything before continuing. I've already grown up. I have the right to make my own decisions. I don't want to be a coward living a life worse than death. Long Shiang Xiao had been about to argue, but hearing Long Chen put it that way and looking at his unwavering determination, his words got stuck midway and he swallowed them back down. Looking at his son, he was filled with admiration. Smiling slightly, he patted Long Chen on the shoulders. Okay, then us father and son will fight side by side. The white-robed man merely watched icily without the slightest bit of impatience as the two whispered to each other. He turned to the fourth prince. Take your people and get lost. Your life still has some value, so don't get caught up in this and die. Although his words were a bit hurtful, in the fourth prince's eyes, they rang out like heavenly salvation. He hastily retreated. This huge matter had been completely messed up by him. He had thought that he would already be unable to live any longer, not expecting the white-robed man to let him off. But the white-robed man also knew that this matter wasn't the fourth prince's fault. The fourth prince had done everything extremely meticulously. Even he deeply admired the fourth prince's schemes. The fourth prince's failure this time was entirely due to luck. Their luck had been too lacking for them to run into Long Chen. But in any case... No one else could have done a better job than the fourth prince. Although he was a bit unwilling, the white-robed man still maintained his calm. Because of Long Chen, the plans would have to change a bit. However, as long as he killed this father-son duo, the plan could still continue. He would just need to delay for a bit longer. It wasn't a big deal. Your goodbye time is up. You lowly insects can go die now. 
the white-robed man's body teleported almost immediately to the two of them. He sent a palm crashing down upon them. There was a faint light on top of the hollow of his palm that caused space to tremble. Long Chen's heart shook. That was clearly an Earth-class battle skill. But there had been no sign at all that he had been about to use it. Experts like Xia Yao Ayu all needed to collect some energy before using an Earth-class battle skill. Otherwise, there was no way to use that much energy. But this person was the same as Long Chen and didn't need to accumulate any energy at all. That was completely shocking. Long Chen quickly slashed out with his broadsword. Long Shiang Xiao had long since been storing up energy for this, and he slashed out with his saber at the same time, causing his saber key to soar. Boom. Key waves erupted explosively. Long Chen felt an enormous force striking him and sent him flying back. Long Shiang Xiao was the same, but although he was also forced back, he was much better off and didn't get thrown back so far. Circulate 100% of your force, but only use 80%. That way you have room to maneuver, reminded Long Shiang Xiao. The reason he wasn't forced back as far wasn't because Long Chen's strength was inferior to his. Instead, it was actually because Long Shiang Xiao had reserved some of his strength during that exchange, giving him greater freedom to advance or retreat, attack or defend. By reserving some of your strength, you would have an extra margin of relief. If you were fighting against an enemy of the same level or perhaps an even stronger level than yourself, that little reserve might be enough to save your life. Long Chen nodded in agreement. Having merged with the Pill God's memories, he understand that reasoning. However, he didn't like that kind of combat. Battle should be a process with no return. If you always kept thinking about keeping yourself alive, how would you arouse your hidden potential? The human body was just like a treasure trove with endless possibilities. As for how much each person could open up, that would depend on how determined and ruthless they were. That kind of ruthlessness included a ruthlessness to yourself in the face of death. So it wasn't that he didn't understand that principle, but that he had even greater ambitions. After seeing the forest god open that spatial door, Long Chen had seen a vision of a vaster world. His heart was already floating into that distance. He had to continue getting stronger. Only by becoming strong enough could he ensure his own dignity and life, and only then could he chase after the things he desired. None of your preparations will be of any use. The white-robed man snorted coldly as he looked icily at the two of them. He was just like an emperor disdainfully looking down on ants. Killing you should be useful enough. Long Chen stood and pointed his broadsword at him. Torrential battle intent sword from him. He knew that this white-robed man was extremely terrifying. He was the most powerful opponent he had met up until now. But the stronger his opponent was, the calmer Long Chen became. He really had to be thankful for his previous life and death battles. Otherwise, in this battle, as soon as he became afraid, his combat ability would sharply drop. Someone who was afraid couldn't even release 80% of their combat potential. They would only become the prey and mercilessly slaughtered. In front of this incredibly powerful enemy, Long Chen was still filled with battle intent. It seemed that his self-confidence hadn't been shaken in the slightest because of the enemy's strength. Long Shiang Xiao was filled with pride and gratification. At the same time, he was also filled with guilt and regret. The greatest regret in his life was that he hadn't been able to accompany his child as he grew up. Even an ant dares to boast? You little brat who hasn't seen the real world. Today, I'll let you see what it means to be separated by a true difference in level. Novaloon.com boom. A terrifying aura exploded from the white-robed man's body. The violent energy swept out in every direction, directly engulfing Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao. They immediately felt as if a huge mountain was crushing them, and even breathing became difficult. What a powerful spiritual pressure. Long Chen's heart shook. This was the pressure formed by releasing one's spiritual key into the surrounding space. In other words, it meant the white-robed man's spiritual key had already been compressed to a certain peak. Compared to other people's spiritual key, their spiritual key was sloppy mud while his was heavy rock. But the most shocking thing to Long Chen was that the white-robed man's aura was still at the late Tendon Transformation Realm. But even those who were at the same Tendon Transformation Realm as him, whether it was Marquis Ying or Xia Yaoyu, were all nothing in front of that boundless aura. Did you think that just by killing a few degenerate weaklings, you could truly battle across realms? Today I'll let you see that the barrier between realms is not something a couple of ants like you can even imagine. He coldly laughed and a sword appeared in his hand. As soon as that sword appeared, sword key fell from the heavens. A powerful torrent came slashing down on Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao. Long Chen knew that this was the true battle. 
no longer holding anything in reserve. He raised his broadsword and flame leaked on top of it. When Long Chen's broadsword collided with the white-robed man's sword, an intense ringing exploded out. Long Chen felt his insides quivering as he was sent flying back. But just before that, Long Chen saw that the pill flame, which had been on his broadsword, had rushed directly towards that white-robed man. Just as everyone thought that he would become just like Xia Yao Ayu and be engulfed in a raging inferno, he coldly smiled and raised his left hand. A transparent white curtain appeared in front of his body like a shield and completely stopped that pill flame which could melt even iron. What? Long Chen's expression changed. That white-robed man's strength had far exceeded his expectations. Plus, his control over spiritual ki was absolutely terrifying. He knew that this should be a special technique he had cultivated. Was that how profound sect disciples were? That was an absolutely amazing technique. In comparison to the white-robed man, Long Chen's techniques and battle skills were far too crude. Long Chen had just attacked when three saber images appeared in the sky. Those saber images were several meters long and combined into one, releasing an incomparable killing intent. Try Saber Soul Reap. That's rumored to be Long Shiang Xiao's strongest attack. I haven't heard of a single person being able to block it. I wonder if he can win. The commoners of the capital were all watching from a distance. Due to the distance being too great, they weren't able to see everything. But that white-robed man's incredible strength was extremely eye-catching. Such huge matters that shook the Phoenix Cry Empire couldn't possibly be kept private from their eyes. The fourth prince not only didn't bother trying to block them, he purposely left some open spaces for the commoners to watch from. He wanted to borrow this opportunity to intimidate everyone. And so these commoners had seen everything. Martial arts were in their golden age in the Phoenix Cry Empire, and the strong were worshipped. Now that they were watching Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao's fight so valiantly against the odds, they couldn't help but feel admiration for them. That was especially true for Long Chen who had consecutively killed Tendon transformation experts, one of them the ruler of an empire. Just what kind of awe-inspiring might was that? Many people hoped for the father-son duo to obtain victory in the end. Having such a hero run the empire would allow the empire to quickly grow stronger. But seeing Long Shiang Xiao's attack, the white-robed man sneered in ridicule. I dislike having ants bear their claws at me. The longsword in his hand slowly rose. A booming ringing came from the longsword. Dazzling rays of light shot into the sky like bolts of lightning, blinding people's eyes. Terrifying light slashed down at Long Shiang Xiao. Chapter 106 Divine Ring Shocks Translator Born to be when the sword and saber images collided. Space raged torrentially. Ripples that could be seen with the naked eye exploded out, shaking the land. Boom. Only after a moment did an ear-ringing boom sound out. It was followed with the sound of a weapon shattering into pieces. A figure was sent flying back, blood splashing everywhere. Father, Long Chen cried out in fright. The saber in Long Shiang Xiao's hand was completely shattered, and countless shards of it were piercing his body, causing his blood to flow out rapidly. Oh, you didn't die? Not bad. The white-robed man was a bit astonished to see that Long Shiang Xiao was still alive. He should have been easily crushed by his previous attack. Oh, I see. The white-robed man came to a sudden realization. Even despite using your full strength to attack, you still kept some energy in reserve. You retreated by borrowing the explosive force and used that energy to defend. That was precisely the advice Long Shiang Xiao had told Long Chen before. Circulate 100% of your energy, but only use 80% in your attack. That would allow you to retreat more freely and give you a path to survival when on the back foot. Otherwise, Long Shiang Xiao would already be a corpse. However, despite that, Long Shiang Xiao's current situation was definitely extremely terrible. Having been fighting for so long, that previous attack of his had used up all his remaining spiritual key. Furthermore, he was bleeding intensely, and there were even quite a few weapon shards that had pierced his organs. At this time, he had already lost over half of his combat strength. But all of this is futile. Ants are only just ants. Don't try to resist the plans fate has for you. That will only make your deaths all the more painful. The white-robed man apathetically shook his head. His sword once more cut across the space, slashing down at Long Shiang Xiao. His movement techniques were extremely strange. It was as if he had no weight at all. Wherever his sword was pointed, he would immediately appear there. He had already reached Long Shiang Xiao as soon as he raised his sword. Long Shiang Xiao took a deep breath. As soon as he had realized this person was a sect disciple, he had already foreseen this conclusion. He glanced at Long Chen and then also at his wife. He smiled slightly. 
Dying together with his family was also a kind of happiness. Together in the afterlife, they would no longer ever have to part again. His right hand was incessantly collecting key. He squeezed out all the remaining spiritual key in his dantian. He would fight until the end, but the chances of him bringing his opponent down together with him was extremely remote. Fuck off. Boom. Long Chen angrily roared and appeared in front of his father, sending his sword to block the white-robed man's attack. You guys retreat. Long Chen urged Chu Yao and the others. They have carried Long Shiang Xiao further away. Long Chen also gave Chu Yao a healing pill for his father. Long Shiang Xiao looked at Long Chen's back. He wanted to say something, but in the end, he decided to keep his mouth shut. The white-robed man let them support Long Shiang Xiao away, only watching them indifferently, his eyes filled with contempt. Everything you do is useless. I really can't understand you weaklings. How are you so stupid? Even now you still don't realize your destinies. Long Chen glared at him. Don't act like you're some amazing god. You're just a pile of dog crap. In your world, you can only pad the bottom levels. So now you've come to this place to abuse your pathetic power. You're just a useless piece of trash. The white-robed man's expression sunk. A suicidal brat like you is about to have your insignificant life ended. In the face of absolute power, try to learn how you should act. Resistance will only increase your sins. Fuck off. According to your reasoning, you should just kill yourself right here. Trash. Good. Then I'll let you see what is absolute power. Hopefully you can recognize your error in a bit. The white-robed man crushed a seal in his left hand, causing a sudden wave of ki to explode out. Long Chen was actually forced back just from those explosive ki waves. A rhombus appeared on the white-robed man's forehead. As soon as that rhombus appeared, his aura explosively grew. His aura was now so powerful that the pressure alone made it hard to breathe. This is how terrifying sect disciples are. Long Shiang Xiao muttered to himself. Shiang Xiao, can Chen Er win? Mrs. Long was extremely worried. She tightly clenched Long Shiang Xiao's hand. All she hoped for with all her heart was for him to reply that he could. Looking at his wife, Long Shiang Xiao seemed to recall a scene from their youth and softly said, Don't worry, our family will never part again. Hearing him say that, she was greatly relieved. In her nervousness, she clearly hadn't understood his true meaning. In front of the white-robed man whose aura had explosively risen, even Long Chen felt it was hard to breathe. This was what a sect disciple was? Their cultivation techniques were completely different. This method of explosively increasing one's aura was also completely foreign to him. His combat strength was far, far too strong. In front of the white-robed man, Marquis Ying, Marquis Wu, and Xia Yaoyu had all been far too weak. They were practically just children in comparison. The fourth prince watched in shock as his aura erupted. Even the space around the white-robed man was being distorted. He remembered back when he had asked about how Marquis Ying was and the white-robed man had indifferently replied that he was not bad. Now looking at this, that evaluation had definitely been an overpraise of Marquis Ying. The difference between them was far too great. The white-robed man's aura finally began to stabilize, a sign that he had reached his highest realm. The current him could now display his true power. Are you ready? Prepare to receive this. The white-robed man smiled indifferently and let out a random slash. That light slash seemed to cut through space, emitting a sound like the sky was splitting apart. A ray of light shot towards Long Chen. Parting wind slash. Long Chen didn't dare underestimate it. His Feng Fu star was circulating at its fastest speed as he slashed out. Boom. Long Chen felt both his hands being intensely shaken as he was sent flying back. The webbing of his hand had been slightly torn and blood slowly flowed out. Not bad. See if you can take this one. The white-robed man once more waved his sword gracefully and shockingly fast. A ray of sword key extended dozens of meters into the air, slashing down fiercely. This attack was several times more powerful than the previous one. Even space revolved around it. Boom. Long Chen slashed out to meet the attack again and was sent flying once more. He spat out a mouthful of blood. That last attack had shaken his inner organs. It was clearly a kind of battle skill. At the same time, Long Chen also noticed that his broadsword now had a thumb-sized nick in it because it was unable to endure such terrifying force. As for the white-robed man's sword, it wasn't the slightest bit damaged. That sword clearly had to have been made from special materials for its hardness to be so out of the ordinary. Looking at the shocked Long Chen, the white-robed man smiled. Now do you finally understand how insignificant you are in the face of absolute power? That's why I said, ants shouldn't resist the plans fate has for you. Don't struggle. You can die now. His sword pointed towards the heavens. 
Heaven and earth shook as a cold ray of sword key shot up. Even the distant people could sense a terrifying pressure coming from it. That sword was incomparably horrifying. In front of countless people's appalled gazes, the sword turned in the sky. Its light enveloped the entire sky as it mercilessly shot down at Long Chen. No. Chu Yao cried sorrowfully. She wanted to charge over, but she was too far. She couldn't even die together with Long Chen. She closed her eyes, not wanting to see that painful sight. Boom. Waves of ki surged over the land, while smoke and dust covered the sky. The terrifying sword ki had cut a huge ditch dozens of meters long. The distant people watched dumbstruck, their expressions lifeless. That kind of scene was already something that had far exceeded anything in their imaginations. It was too horrifying. But when the dust finally scattered, they were practically unable to believe their own eyes. That was because they saw a certain figure. That figure was somewhat miserable but was standing there as steadily as ever. It seemed as if no one could possibly knock him down. An incomparably determined will came from him. It was a will that could shake even the blue dome of the heavens. Oh, the white-robed man had thought that his previous attack would have ended everything. He had even been about to put his sword back into its sheath. Within that dust was a man carrying a broadsword who slowly walked forward. Behind him was a ring of light. With each step that he took, the ring became increasingly distinct and larger. In the beginning, it only had a diameter of three meters. But by the time he walked out of the dust, the ring of light had already reached a size of 300 meters, appearing like a giant rainbow arc in the sky. At the same time, an endless violent aura surged out from Long Chen's body. His robes fluttered and his black hair danced. His starry eyes were filled with icy intent. Receive this ant's attack, Long Chen suddenly shouted. His shout was like a dragon's roar, capable of breaking mountains and incredibly domineering. The white-robed man was actually given a frightful shock. He realized that Long Chen's aura had completely changed. It was like an angry sea that was incessantly sending waves to attack heaven and earth. Its power was incredibly frightening. Long Chen took a single step. When that foot touched the land, the surrounding people could all feel the earth shaking as if a huge monstrous magical beast was bounding across it. The ground completely cracked from that single step. But Long Chen had already shot forward and was slashing at the white-robed man. The white-robed man coldly snorted and slashed out with his sword. Just an ant also dares. What? Boom. Long Chen's attack hadn't looked to be anything special. But when his sword touched Long Chen's broadsword, the force from the broadsword exploded like a volcano. The white-robed man felt an irresistible force send him flying. The power within that caused his ki and blood to violently turn. This was the first time the white-robed man was astonished. He could clearly sense that that terrifying energy hadn't been from a battle skill, but simply from Long Chen's body. As soon as the white-robed man had stabilized himself, an explosive shout rang out. Parting wind slash. By the time he reacted, Long Chen's attack had essentially already reached him. He was horrified. Long Chen's attack speed was far too quick. He was like a wild tempest that didn't give people the slightest chance to catch their breath. Bang. Being forced into such a dangerous situation, the white-robed man shouted and slashed his sword out to meet Long Chen's sword. He was blown back once more. But when he finally stabilized himself, everyone who was watching let out a burst of startled cries. Chapter 107 Split the Heavens Reappears Translator Born to be although the white-robed man had managed to avoid Long Chen's strike, the terrifying astral wind had cut apart his headband. His black hair scattered, touched with a trace of blood that slowly flowed down his forehead. He had actually been injured. Looking at how boastful and amazing you were talking just now, acting like you were some god. I really am regretfully sorry to see that you are unable to bear even the power of an ant, taunted Long Chen icily, pointing his sword at the white, robed man. After summoning out his divine ring, his strength had exploded. At the same time, he also madly absorbed heaven and earth's spiritual key, immediately filling up his originally almost exhausted energy back to 80%. Unfortunately, the surrounding spiritual key was limited. Otherwise, he could have immediately absorbed enough to reach 100%. But even so, Long Chen was still extremely satisfied. Now that his divine ring had formed, he felt inexhaustible energy overflowing within him, and his battle intent soared. He didn't understand much about his divine ring, but he knew that after summoning it out, his combat ability would multiply by several times. Having summoned his divine ring, he entered his strongest state. Normally, he wouldn't summon it out due to how shocking its appearance was. But with how desperate the situation had turned out, holding back any further would only result in death. 
His father's heavy injury caused him to immediately put away any of his misgivings towards its shocking appearance. The large ring of light behind him went high into the sky, and his current godlike figure awed everyone. The white-robed man's combat abilities had already been seen by everyone. Even someone as strong as Long Shiang Xiao was unable to receive even a single attack from him. But now Long Chen had sent the white-robed man flying back with his sword, even injuring his head. Such a situation was too shocking. Brother Long is too strong. Fatty Yu gulped in awe. The injuries all over his body were completely forgotten by him. Long Shiang Xiao also looked at Long Chen in shock. Long Chen's current strength didn't seem to be inferior to that sect disciple. Chu Yao gently bit her lip and her eyes blurred. Long Chen was an undefeatable battle god in her heart. What's going on? What kind of technique is that? The white-robed man completely forgot about his head injury in his shock. He sensed an unprecedented pressure coming from Long Chen's body. That was absolutely impossible. How could there be such a genius outside the cultivation world? Living in this ordinary, secular world. Someone who was only at the insignificant blood condensation realm and had yet to completely refine and temper his physical body, could not possibly possess such a strength. What? Are you interested in an ant's technique? Long Chen laughed icily. The white-robed man coldly snorted. You bottom-dwelling frog. Even if you have a secret technique. So what? How long can you use it for? You are unable to escape your miserable fate. His sword shook and countless sword images appeared everywhere. Crashing down on Long Chen. Long Chen raised his broadsword and crazily exchanged blows with the white-robed man. Explosions shook the heavens and caused the earth to continuously tremble. Small stone fragments shot out from their collisions, some flying hundreds of meters away. One unlucky fellow was struck despite being over half a mile away. Even so, that flying stone pierced right through his thigh. Everyone cried out in alarm and quickly withdrew further away. No one wanted to become the next unlucky fellow, other than their fight, within several miles. The only other battle was Grand Master Yun Qi fight against Wei Kang and Wang Luoyang. Flames continuously soared and waves of heat rolled. That was the first time people had ever seen how terrifying a pill cultivator was. Their pill flames were far too powerful. Having fought for this long, their flame strengths had yet to decline the slightest bit. After all, when they refined medicinal pills, they had to continuously use their pill flame for long periods of time. That was especially true for high-tier medicinal pills that required longer times to refine, sometimes even several days. So a pill cultivator's pill flame was their essential foundation, and their fights would often stretch out for the longest periods of time. As for the other side, Long Chen and the white-robed man's fight caused people to tremble in fright. Sword key collided continuously. Long Chen is so strong, it really is a defiance of the heavens. Some people couldn't help but exclaim their wonder. A cripple had basically shot up meteorically in the past few months. Starting from his victory against Li Hao on the martial stage, Long Chen had grown by leaps and bounds. Now the current him was able to consecutively kill tendon transformation experts who were the peak of the empire and was even able to fight against this terrifying monster which had exceeded their understanding. Some of those youths, who viewed Long Chen as an idol, were now tightly clenching their fists, swearing to themselves that they would also become a powerful expert like him. Boom. After another intense collision, both of them withdrew 30 meters away. Everything within several miles of their fight was a complete mess. Huge scars and ditches covered the land. How is the strength of an ant? Mocked Long Chen. The two of them had now already exchanged over a thousand blows. Long Chen could clearly sense that his strength was declining. His spiritual key was starting to run out despite the support of his divine ring. That didn't mean his divine ring wasn't powerful but simply that the surrounding spiritual key was too sparse, unable to keep up with the divine ring's absorption. And so Long Chen's speed of replenishing his spiritual key was limited. Bastard. The white-robed man's calm expression had long since disappeared. Even in his wildest dreams, he would never have imagined a freak like Long Chen could have existed in the secular world. Even though he was merely in the blood condensation realm, he was able to fight against a late-stage tendon transformation sect disciple like him that filled him with fury as well as intense jealousy, seeing a youth younger than even himself with endless potential, killing intense sword from him, the white-robed man harshly shouted and a ray of light shot from his forehead to shine on his longsword, that longsword seemed to come alive, emitting continuous ringing and overflowing with light, a ray of sword light shot out and cruelly slashed down on Long Chen, light flow sword, a ray of light reached Long Chen almost as soon as the white-robed man had moved, its speed was inconceivable, by the time Long Chen had sensed it, 
It had already reached his body. He couldn't help being filled with horror. That was the first time he had ever encountered an attack that was so fast. Boom. The sword light that was dozens of meters long slashed onto his body, causing everyone to let out startled cries. Everything had happened too quickly. By the time people had realized the white-robed man was attacking, it was already over. The ray of light completely enveloped Long Chen. They had previously been evenly matched. But had he been killed with just one move now? Everyone was stupefied. The white-robed man's face turned pale after sending out that sword blow. As that was one of his killing blows, its might was beyond compare. That sword blow's most formidable feature was its speed. By the time the enemy noticed him moving, it would already be too late to block. That was just how terrifying its speed was. It was something that couldn't be guarded against. It was his most powerful move. By relying on that one single move, he was able to defeat Turing quite a few of the inner sect disciples. However, the amount of energy which that move used up was also terrifying. Even he was somewhat unable to bear it. But as long as he was able to kill Long Chen, it would be worth it. A huge ditch had appeared where Long Chen was standing. The white-robed man had just been about to relax when his pupils suddenly shrunk. The earth split open, and a figure flew out from within the earth. Long Chen. Long Chen's body was covered in dirt, and there was a huge blood stain on his chest, making him appear extremely miserable. However, he was still alive. How is this possible? The white-robed man looked at Long Chen in disbelief. He couldn't believe that Long Chen could receive his most powerful attack. Long Chen patted the dirt off his body. He was secretly filled with horror inside. That attack had been too frightening. That kind of speed was simply unblockable. If at that critical moment, he hadn't instinctively brought his sword to block in front of his body and sent his spiritual key to protect himself, he would already be a corpse. His keen spiritual perception had saved his life once more. But even though he had forcibly blocked it, its force still had blown him into the ground and he vomited out three mouthfuls of blood. It's not my style to not reciprocate. Long Chen took a deep breath. He slowly raised his broadsword so that it pointed towards the sky. Along with Long Chen's movements, the world became completely silent. Having lost all sound, the only thing within heaven and earth seemed to be just Long Chen. Strange lines appeared over his broadsword. Suddenly, heaven and earth rumbled and space incessantly trembled. Endless foreboding key soared into the clouds. The white-robed man's expression greatly changed. Looking at that scene. He was horrified to realize that he had been locked in place by a terrifying aura. Long Chen was just at the blood condensation realm. It should be impossible for him to lock a tendon transformation expert in place. The only explanation was that he had been locked by the battle skill Long Chen was using. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. The white-robed man cried out frantically. To allow a blood condensation cultivator to lock a tendon transformation expert. That would require the battle skill to be at least at the mid-grade earth class or higher. But the earth class battle skills that circulated in the secular world were all things which couldn't enter the eyes of those sects. The absolute lowest tier trash. As for the sects, their battle skills were all the finest possible. Although they might also be at the earth class, their power levels were far from equal. That was also why the white-robed man's battle skill was so frightening in comparison to the other earth class battle skills that had been used here. But even a sect disciple like him didn't have the qualifications to learn a mid-grade earth class battle skill. How could a weakling from the secular world use such a battle skill? Despite knowing that it was simply impossible, that terrifying aura firmly locked down his body, so he couldn't possibly be wrong. He was practically about to go crazy. He violently circulated his spiritual key in an attempt to receive this attack. That was because since he was locked in place, there was no way that he could dodge it. Trying to do something so futile would only speed up his defaturing a large tortoise shell now appeared in his hand. The tortoise shell was snow white, looking just like jade. There were extremely strange lines carved into it that possessed a terrifying aura. Long Shiang Xiao's heart beat wildly when he sensed the terrifying power coming from Long Chen's body. What a terrifying aura. Everyone was watching Long Chen. Heaven and earth was completely silent. Within their eyes, there was only one person and one sword. Long Chen's sword suddenly began to buzz. A will that desired to slash the heavens and split the earth exploded out, radiating hundreds of miles. In front of that will, people felt as if they were facing heavenly punishment. They were completely terrified. It felt as if the end of the world was coming. Split the heavens. Long Chen's sword slashed down thunderously. Chapter 108 One blow shocks the world translator. Born to be his broadsword whistled like thunder as it slashed down on the white-robed man bringing with it a will that wished to destroy the very heavens. 
That sword blow no longer seemed like a battle skill. Instead, it seemed like it was a kind of Dao that wished to defy the heavens and overturn the earth. Seeing Long Chen's attack slashing down on him, the white-robed man's tortoise shell flew out. What shocked everyone was that the originally palm-sized tortoise shell quickly enlarged, reaching three meters in width as it protected him behind it. Boom. Sword key heavily slashed down upon that tortoise shell. The strange lines on top of it lit up, and a bizarre reaction occurred. Long Chen's sword key seemed to be like light hitting a mirror, and the majority of it was reflected out. The tortoise shell managed to block that attack, but in the end, it finally cracked and exploded from the terrifying force. Its pieces scattered to the ground. As for the white-robed man, he also wasn't that well off and repeatedly vomited out blood. Obviously, that tortoise shell had been unable to completely block all of Split the Heavens Force, and as the tortoise shell's master, the white-robed man also received a heavy impact. The strange lines on top of the tortoise shell had dispersed most of the force. However, he was still heavily wounded. Looking at the tortoise shell pieces and the wildly vomiting blood white-robed man, people became a bit sluggish. They were filled with reverence towards Long Chen. Crack. Suddenly, people noticed that Long Chen's broadsword was covered in growing cracks. The broadsword finally exploded, its fragments littering the ground. Looking at those fragments, Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. Even this broadsword's quality was too inferior to endure split the heavens force. Bursts of pain came from Long Chen's meridians at this time. It felt as if they were on fire. An aftermath of using split the heavens. Despite advancing to the blood condensation realm and having his meridians grow wider by a great deal, and even despite the expert from the spirit world transforming them, Long Chen's meridians were still unable to completely endure the impact. But of course, this was many times better than the last time. His meridians were only slightly damaged and hadn't cracked. They would recover quickly. The most important thing was that this was his most powerful application of split the heavens, but his meridians had still been able to take it. That was definitely something to celebrate. And another surprise for him was that despite using his full strength, he was still far from being able to bring out the full potential of Split the Heavens. It seemed just like it was much more profound than he had thought and he had only just begun to scratch its surface. He was a bit regretful that he hadn't managed to kill the white-robed man. Who would have thought he would have such a strange life-saving measure? That tortoise shell definitely wasn't an ordinary item. It was practically unheard of within the secular world. He couldn't compare to sect disciples when it came to the treasures they possessed. All of his spiritual key was now exhausted. Even the divine ring behind him faded away. He was now deathly tired, entering an extremely weak state. But Long Chen knew that the white-robed man wasn't that much better off. Looking at him vomiting blood, his internal injury must be severe. Both of them were still relatively even. However, Long Chen's side held a definite advantage since he had two tendon transformation experts who weren't injured at all. Furthermore, he also had Little Snow and Chu Yao. The white-robed man would definitely die. Crack. More cracking sounds rang out, startling the crowd. But when they looked carefully at Long Chen and the white-robed man, nothing strange seemed to be happening. Crack. This time people managed to hear that this sound wasn't coming from them. The city gates. People hastily turned to see that the huge, imposing city gates had become covered in cracks. Long Chen's attack caused the city gates to crack. People suddenly noticed that a deep ditch had been dug in front of the city gates. That ditch led straight up to the white-robed man Noveloon.com Only then did people realize that the tortoise shell had deflected the majority of Long Chen's attack onto the city gates. Although it didn't completely break the gates, they were still badly damaged, causing people an endless shock. Just what level of strength was that? Was that a strength that humans could really possess? Furthermore, that had been caused by only a part of the force that had been reflected by the tortoise shell. If it had been a direct hit, the entire city gates would have probably been completely destroyed. Right? Everyone's jaws dropped as they looked on in horror. Crack. The city gates continued cracking, and in front of everyone's appalled eyes, they began to completely collapse. No. What was completely unbelievable for everyone was the scene of the white-robed man looking at the city gates in fright. He even let out a heart-rending cry. Boom. Countless pieces of rubble shot out as the city gates tumbled to the ground. Suddenly, a three-meter-thick pillar of light shot from the ruins of the city gates into the sky. An extremely dense spiritual key was blown out along with it. Everyone only watched dumbfounded by these events that completely overturned their comprehension of the world. Long Shiang Xiao suddenly realized something after seeing that pillar of light. Years of suspicions and doubt were completely resolved at this moment. It's a spirit stone mine. 
there's a spirit stone mine below the city gates. Some people had managed to see through what it was. Spirit stones were special spiritual items formed naturally from heaven and earth. They were condensed underground for millions and millions of years, absorbing endless spiritual key to form a kind of ore that kind of ore was viewed as a lifeblood for cultivators. It was said this kind of vein of ore was extremely rare, and most of them had already been occupied by the various large sects. Only with the support of spirit stones could sect disciples cultivate so quickly. It was the greatest support of the sects. Long Shiang Xiao had a complicated expression as he shook his head at the distant fourth prince. Just for a vein of ore, you wanted to kill and silence me. The fourth prince's expression was ashen. He knew that his judgment day had finally arrived. In front of Long Shiang Xiao's words, there was not even the slightest he could say in return. Years ago when we were drinking, his majesty once told me that there was a vein of ore near the capital. He said if it was excavated, it would allow the Phoenix Cry Empire to rise high above other empires. Back then I thought he was talking about some rare iron ores that could be forged into weapons. So I only laughed and didn't pay it any mind. I really never thought that it was because of something like this that you thought I had learned your secret. You wanted to exterminate me for something like that? It really is a joke. Long Shiang Xiao sighed and shook his head. What? The fourth prince was shocked. He had always thought that Long Shiang Xiao had known all about the spirit stone mine. Over 20 years ago, the Grand Xia had married off their most beautiful princess to Phoenix Cry in order to prevent further conflicts and form an alliance between the two empires. But the Grand Xia's princess's mission hadn't been to make peace. She had a greater mission. That mission was to take control of Phoenix Cry so that it could be swallowed by the Grand Xia. That had been shrewdly hidden by the princess extremely deeply. Once she had arrived at Phoenix Cry, she put in her full effort to wait upon the Emperor, and with her skillful techniques in bed, she began to receive a heavy pampering from the Emperor. Not long after, she gave birth to a prince, the fourth prince. The Grand Xia's princess had always maintained a low profile, never entering the conflicts between concubines, patiently enduring and eventually become a good sister to the Empress. Originally, the Grand Xia's plan had been to overturn Phoenix Cry. But during that process, the fourth prince's mother found a shocking secret. That secret had been told to her by the emperor after he had gotten drunk. He had told her that Phoenix Cry was about to become the most powerful empire in all of history. Being put on guard from that, the princess had used all her skills in bed to make the emperor a slave to her skirts. And he finally told her the secret that he had found a spirit stone mine. Originally. The Emperor had been planning on building a secret tunnel to be used to escape from assassinations or other dangers. If an enemy managed to enter the city, he could manage to slip away without anyone noticing. But halfway through the excavation of the secret tunnel, they had found that the stones were becoming increasingly harder, and even cobalt started to appear. Cobalt was a partner substance that was formed along with spirit stones. Where there was cobalt, there would be spirit stones. That discovery caused the emperor to go wild with joy. He directly exterminated everyone who had known about the secret tunnel to keep the whole matter secret. However, the emperor had never been a tight-lipped person. A short while after telling her this, he died of natural causes. The emperor had been within the empress's palace when he had died. Moreover, he had died on their bed while being intimate with each other. The empress had been frightened out of her mind. But luckily, the fourth prince's mother had just happened to be walking by. And in her panic, she had taken her good sister's advice, faking that the emperor had entered seclusion. The plan was that they would eventually say he had died in seclusion, limiting the amount of panic that would occur. They just had to find a suitable moment. In the end, under her scheming, the empress smoothly gained all the authority over the empire. Lured by the power, she decided to just leave the emperor in seclusion forever. As for the spirit stone mine, she never learned anything about it. Whenever she would have any tough problems she would always go to her good sister for help. Her sister became her most trusted aid. The fourth prince's mother leaked the information of the spirit stone mine to her father. The matter had become too huge. So she didn't dare do too much without his advice. This occurred right at the moment while an expert from the Zaya family was at a sect but that expert wasn't even good enough to become a disciple. He was only a worker. But by using this information, it was possible for him to enter the sect as a disciple. Everything went extremely smoothly. The sect secretly sent people to investigate the terrain, confirming the existence of a spirit stone mine. But rushing into mine it would release spiritual key, alarming the surrounding powers. 
They sent orders down to take control of Phoenix Cry as fast as possible and also built a hidden spirit formation to completely conceal the aura from the spirit stone mine. That hidden spirit formation had precisely been the city gate tower. Normally, the aura from the spirit stone mine was completely isolated from the rest of the world. That way they could secretly mine it in the future. However, members from the sects couldn't reveal themselves in the secular world without other powers noticing and so they could only rely on the power of cultivators from the secular world. In order to not cause too many waves, they could only rely on the Grand Zaya slowly infiltrating Phoenix Cry. But their only worry was Long Shiang Xiao who also knew about this. He had become their biggest problem, and that was what had led to all of this. But now Long Shiang Xiao said he hadn't known about the Spirit Stone Mine. Just what kind of joke was this? They had been more than capable of silently mining the Spirit Stone Mine the entire time. A-H-H-H. -h -h -h. I'll kill you all. A bitter voice screamed out. The white-robed man was like a beast as he looked at Long Chen and the others. His eyes filled with wild killing intent. Chapter 109 Core Flame Translator. Born to be the white-robed man went crazy as he looked at that pillar of light. I'll kill you all. He roared. Long Chen icily said. I find that you guys really are just a bunch of idiots. Despite it being obviously your own mistake. You now want to blame others. Although Long Chen didn't know the whole history, hearing his father's words, it wasn't hard for him to imagine what had happened. Frankly speaking, the Long family was the true victim in this case. It didn't make any sense for the white-robed man to blame them. You damn dance. Why do you have to struggle? If you didn't resist, how could it end up like this? All of you will die in recompense. Snarled the white-robed man. You idiot. Are you mentally retarded? Long Chen ridiculed. This white-robed man was no longer acting like a person anymore. He was acting more like an insane dog. Sorry to trouble you too, but could you go kill this crazy dog? Long Chen turned to the two tendon transformation experts. At this time, those two possessed the highest battle strength present. Having them kill the white-robed man in his current state wasn't difficult. We'll handle it. The two of them nodded. They had yet to have an opportunity to reveal their true strength, causing them to also feel a bit vexed. Now was the best time for them to show off a bit. Ha 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 ha. The white-robed man crazily laughed. Bitterness filling his eyes. You miserable ants. You ruined everything. All my effort was wasted. You can all go to hell. After saying that, he took out a black medicinal pill. He immediately swallowed that medicinal pill. The two experts Long Shiang Xiao had brought along reached him at almost the same time. HMPH. Eating medicine now is too late. The two of them raised their weapons and slashed them down upon him. But when Long Chen saw that black medicinal pill, he couldn't help being surprised. Suddenly, his expression changed as he realized just what that medicinal pill was. Careful, but he was too late. The white-robed man sinisterly smiled and punched out with both of his hands. Two explosions of bloody mist dyed the sky red. Everyone looked on stupefied. How is this possible? Long Shiang Xiao and the others were absolutely appalled. Two powerful tendon transformation experts had been killed just like that. Not even their bones remaining. Life-devouring blood explosion pill. It's actually a life-devouring blood explosion pill. Long Chen was greatly shaken. He had recognized that to be a self-destructive medicinal pill. Who would have thought that the white-robed man would possess one and that he would even consume it now? The life-devouring blood explosion pill was a medicinal pill that converted life into power. By igniting your remaining vitality, you could release over double your normal strength. That was an extremely terrifying medicinal pill but its repercussions were also extremely cruel. There was only one result after consuming it. Death. From the moment he had consumed the life-devouring blood explosion pill, the white-robed man's remaining moments were on a countdown. In just the time it took for an incense stick to burn, all his life force would run dry and he would die. The white-robed man's entire body turned bloody. His face was malevolent and evil. He clenched his teeth as he looked at Long Chen and the others as if he were a beast deciding which one to eat first. Originally, this mission hadn't been his. It had been the mission of a worker within the sect who would be promoted to become an outer disciple after completing it. But the white-robed man had used his own means to force that worker into an accident. And then with other people's help, he managed to gain what should have been an extremely easy mission. As long as he finished it, he would be promoted to become an inner sect disciple. There was even an extremely remote hope that the sect might promote him to a core disciple. He originally hadn't been worried after the fourth prince's plan had failed. As long as he personally killed them, the plan could continue as usual. He would just have to quickly cover it up and not let anyone from the sect find out. 
As long as he waited patiently and used the fourth prince properly, he could secretly build a tunnel and set up several larger spirit concealing grand formations, allowing him to begin mining the spirit stones. Although that would take a great deal of time, it was the safest and most dependable method. This plan had already been in works for over 10 years. As for the white robed man, he had only taken over two years ago. Everything had already been set up, and he was just waiting to collect the profits. But now the hidden spirit formation had been broken and the spirit key of the spirit stone mine had been released. Such a huge movement would definitely attract members from the various large sects. His mission had completely failed. Not only would he not get a reward, but he would have to face the sect's most ruthless punishments. Thinking of that, he had become filled with hatred and resentment. He wouldn't be able to obtain anything. He had thus descended into madness and swallowed the life-devouring blood explosion pill. He was only in his twenties, but as soon as he had consumed that medicinal pill, he immediately transformed to look like a middle-aged man. That was how terrifying the life-devouring blood explosion pill was. It would crazily absorb his life force, turning it into strength. With each breath he was taking now, another year came off his vitality. All you ants can die now. The white-robed man roared and punched out. The terrifying wind from that punch shot out over hundreds of meters, turning into a whistling beast head that charged towards them. The terrifying pressure from it caused people to be unable to even breath. They felt as if even their organs were being squeezed to death. If they were hit by that wild gale, they would undoubtedly die. Long Shiang Xiao took a deep breath. Although he knew he would definitely die, he still got up, just about to charge out to block. But Long Chen was even faster than him. As that wild gale was en route, he punched out, breaking wind fist, roar, Long Chen had just punched when a huge wind blade shot out from behind him, that was Little Snow's attack, Little Snow had realized that it was a desperate situation, and his attack was shot out at the perfect time, boom, key waves exploded out, Long Shiang Xiao and the others felt as if a wild bull had rammed into them, and they were sent flying, everyone ached, Fatty Yu and the others, whose cultivation bases weren't high enough, fainted directly. Long Shiang Xiao hastily looked back. Dust filled the air and a huge crater had appeared in the ground. Little Snow was currently digging into the ground. Suddenly, he stopped and used his teeth to drag out Long Chen from the ground and then charged forward to face the white-robed man. Long Chen was gasping for breath. That attack had used up all his remaining strength. He was now completely exhausted. Intense pains racked his body. He felt that perhaps every single one of his bones had broken. Ants, you dare struggle? Die. Seeing that Long Chen was actually able to receive one of his strikes, the white-robed man became even more infuriated. He was just about to punch again when he suddenly saw that tuft of red hair on Little Snow's head, the third-rank Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf. He was somewhat surprised. He hadn't really been paying any attention to Little Snow before. The Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf was an excellent companion amongst third-rank magical beasts. Once they were matured, their battle strength would grow even further. His heart shook and his first thought was that he should take this snow wolf as his own houseboat. But he then immediately remembered that he had already consumed the life-devouring blood explosion pill. So looking at little snow made him even more furious. Even you dare mock me? Die. He punched out once more. Run, little snow. Long Chen hoarsely cried out with his last bit of energy, not wanting little snow to sacrifice himself for nothing. But little snow didn't listen to Long Chen's cry at all. He once more spat out a wind blade that struck the wind from the white-robed man's fist, but the wind force was too great, and so it easily broke past his wind blade and struck him. With Little Snow's speed, he should have been able to dodge, but Little Snow didn't move. He forcefully took the attack head-on, resisting it with just his body. No, Novaloon.com CM Bang. Little Snow's body was blown away by that wild wind gale. At the same time, the sound of his bones breaking and shattering rang out. He was sent tumbling away, only stopping coincidentally right beside Long Chen. Looking at the blood covering Little Snow's body, Long Chen couldn't help but feel anguish. Woo! Little Snow managed to turn his head with great difficulty to look at Long Chen, his eyes filled with dense love. You bastards! You can both die! The white-robed man sinisterly charged over at the two of them. Three figures shot over to block him. They were Long Shiang Xiao, Chu Yao, and Shi Fang. They all knew that they were completely unable to block this white-robed man. However, they refused to just watch as Long Chen died in front of them. Fuck off. The white-robed man angrily swatted at them, and the three of them were immediately sent flying, vomiting blood. In front of the white-robed man, they were unable to resist in the slightest. 
After sending the three of them flying, he raised his leg to stamp down on Long Chen. You repulsive ants can die now. If that leg truly did strike Long Chen with its terrifying power, in his weak state, Long Chen would definitely die. But he did not even have the slightest bit of spiritual key or energy remaining in him, and it was impossible for him to dodge. Bang! Waves of key shot out. Long Shiang Xiao and the others suddenly saw that a flaming figure had appeared there. It's Grand Master Yun Qi. Shi Feng immediately recognized him. But the current Grand Master Yun Qi no longer looked the same as usual. His entire body was covered in flames that had become as red as blood. Looking into the distance, everyone saw Wei Kang and Wang Luoyang had already been burnt to a crisp, no longer possessing the slightest aura. You old stick who won't die. Even you have come to block me. The white-robed man had been hit by a powerful force just now, causing him to miss. He angrily raged at Grand Master Yun Qi. Grand Master Yun Qi, you. Long Chen couldn't help being distraught when he saw Yun Qi's current state. Others weren't able to tell, but Long Chen could see that Grand Master Yun Qi had already begun to ignite his core flame. That was the life flame of an alchemist. Igniting one's life flame was equivalent to burning away one's soul. Child, I've already lived for many years. I've already seen many things, and now I've also avenged my one great enmity. I have nothing to regret. You are the most talented genius I've ever seen when it comes to pill refining. How can I just let you die in front of me? Haha, <laughs> even my weary old bones can have some use in the end. Grandmaster Yun Ki laughed. He was not filled with anger, but instead a calm easiness. He slowly formed a seal with both hands. His thumb and middle finger touched while the rest of his fingers folded over each other. Flames exploded out. Chapter 110 Long Chen, Transform Translator, born to be after Grandmaster Yun Qi finished speaking, the flames surrounding his body suddenly burned intensely, countless flame chains shot out from his hands and completely wrapped around the white-robed man, flame prison, its speed was incomparable, and the white-robed man had yet to even react before he was completely caught, countless chains wrapped him tight perfectly, the white-robed man was completely bound by those flame chains. Those flames were Grand Master Yun Qi's core flame. Even pill masters like Wei Kang and Wang Luoyang had been unable to endure it and had immediately been defeated. Although Grand Master Yun Qi had been busy fighting, he had always been keeping an eye over Long Chen's battlefield. Seeing that he had sunk into a crisis, he had finally exploded out. Pill masters could fight for a long time with their pill flames. Although Grand Master Yun Qi had kept the upper hand, it was impossible for him to achieve victory in a short time using ordinary methods. But seeing that Long Chen had been about to perish, he had no longer kept anything in reserve and summoned out his core flame. That was an ability which he had only managed to comprehend in the last few years. By refining a flame into one's core flame and using his life energy to nourish the flame, once it grew strong enough, he would have been able to step into the next level, becoming a pill king. Now that his core flame had been summoned out of his body, his battle strength was without equal, but the cost was that it also used up his life energy. The white-robed man wildly struggled from within those flame chains, but no matter how he struggled, he was unable to escape and emitted a mournful cry. However, what shocked people the most was that although even Wei Kang and Wang Luoyang were unable to resist the core flame, it was unable to immediately kill the white-robed man. Grand Master Yun Qi sighed and shook his head. Ah, I really am old. Long Chen, I'm sorry. People were shocked to realize that Grand Master Yun Qi's body was slowly disappearing from the feet up. His last words hung in the air. His body scattered with the wind. Grand Master Yun Qi, Long Chen couldn't hold back his tears. Ever since he had met Grand Master Yun Qi, he had always protected and encouraged him. He was a true senior worthy of respect. And now for him, he had died and even his body had disappeared. Long Chen was filled with hatred and resentment. A-H-H. Following Grandmaster Yun Qi's disappearance, the flame chains binding the white-robed man also faded away. However, the current white-robed man was no longer able to be called white-robed. His whole body was burnt black, making him look like a human-shaped piece of charcoal. But the aura coming from his body was still absolutely terrifying. Bastards, the suffering you gave me will be returned ten times to you. The white-robed man actually stopped attacking Long Chen and waved his hand. The distant Long Shiang Xiao suddenly shook and he was pulled over by a terrifying force. The white-robed man's chaired hand tightly clenched Long Shiang Xiao's neck and he sinisterly looked at Long Chen. Kid, you've truly infuriated me. I won't let you die first. As payback, I'll let you see everyone around you die one by one. Ha ha ha, bastard. Release my father. 
Long Chen wanted to rush over, but his body refused to listen to his orders. He was unable to move. Haha, <laughs> is it painful? Excellent, that's good. This is still just the start. Let's take it slow. The white-robed man crazily laughed, filled with insane joy. Chen Er, men have no need to worry about life and death if they have lived their life without regret or guilt. You don't need to feel bad. Long Shiang Xiao might have his neck in his hand and have no way to resist, but he didn't feel the slightest bit of fear. Long Chen's anger soared and endless killing intent spread from him, but he was still helpless. What he didn't know was that the moment that the killing intent in his heart became the densest, his Feng Fu star on the bottom of his foot began to crazily revolve. The angrier he got, the more violently his Feng Fu star revolved. When his anger reached its peak, his Feng Fu star suddenly paused. You're not afraid of death? Good. Then we'll start with you. You can die now. The white-robed man coldly laughed and began to apply some force on Long Shiang Xiao's neck. Fucking go to hell. An angry roar rang out like a thunderclap, sounding as if it had come from above the very heavens. Everyone present heard that booming roar shake their ears. The white-robed man was the closest and received it head on. His head buzzed and he felt as if his brain had turned to mush. Suddenly, he felt intense pain as he was sent flying. Only when he landed on the ground did he awaken from his stupor and look forward in shock. At this very instant, the originally sunny sky became covered by black clouds and countless thunderbolts flashed within them. The clouds spread thousands of miles. The scene appeared as if the end of the world had come. At the same time, he saw that lonely figure. A faint halo of light appeared over his body and a terrifying aura continuously dashed against heaven and earth. What is this? The white-robed man was completely astonished. He could clearly see that that figure was Long Chen, but the current Long Chen seemed like an awakened demon king or a descended divine god. A terrifying pressure was constantly emitted from his body, causing people to tremble. The Feng Fu star on the bottom of Long Chen's foot began to crack. The outer layer completely shed off like a mud-covered pearl. The light from within was finally being released. After the outer layer fell, a bright, true star appeared from within. Inside that star were some indistinct mountains, plains, rivers, and even expansive oceans. One, after that star appeared, Long Chen's dried-up spiritual key was completely replenished. With that, he had sent the white-robed man flying with a single punch, saving Long Shiang Xiao. He sent his father into a further location from their battlefield. That was something he did instinctively because he could sense that a terrifying thing was most likely about to occur. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes. As if talking in his sleep, he said a single sentence. First of the nine stars, Feng Fu battle armor, appear. When he opened his eyes once more, a star had appeared in his eyes. When that star appeared, all of heaven and earth raged. An earthquake shook the land, causing those spectators who were several miles away to fall to the ground and flee in fear. It was as if the heavens were collapsing and the earth was breaking apart. An endlessly violent aura was constantly charging out of Long Chen's body. The heavens shook as countless pieces of crushed rocks began to float around him. Those broken stone pieces which had begun to hover around him all turned to dust under some incredible pressure. Long Shiang Xiao and the others all looked at Long Chen in shock. Was this the same Long Chen that they knew? The current him appeared just like a demon king yet also like a divine god. All things would be forced to acknowledge their allegiance to him. Long Chen suddenly disappeared from his original location, appearing in front of the white-robed man in a single blink punching out. Although the white-robed man was watching Long Chen in complete shock, seeing him disappear so suddenly, he also punched forward instinctively. The sounds of bones breaking rang out. After colliding with Long Chen's punch, the white-robed man's entire arm was crushed. With just a single punch, Long Chen could shatter the white-robed man's arm. Without a single pause, he spun and viciously kicked with his right leg. Long Chen's leg ruthlessly slammed into his nose, causing many of his facial bones to break. He was sent flying back, but as soon as that white-robed man was sent flying, Long Chen had already appeared in midair like some phantom. Raising his right hand, he viciously smashed it down. The white-robed man's body was like a shooting star as he smashed into the ground. The hard surface of the ground became like water, and a huge wave spread out. A 300-meter crater had been smashed into the ground. Within that crater was a chaired figure who no longer resembled a human. All his bones had been broken and crushed. He was practically in a U-shape now, but most horrifying of all was that he still hadn't died and was still frantically gasping for breath. Ants shouldn't struggle? Then why are you still struggling? Ants should suffer and die? Okay, I'll help you with that. Long Chen walked to the front of the huge hole, 
Looking at the white-robed man lying at the bottom, a pile of needles appeared in his hands. Feel what suffering is. Long Chen threw over a dozen needles straight at him. The needles went straight through his skin. The white-robed man's eyes almost shot out of his head. A-H-H-H. -H -H. His miserable scream was so loud that even those miles away could hear it. It was a cry filled with pain, causing people to shudder with fear. You're the real and. My brother received these bone-eroding needles without letting out a single cry. You're just a piece of trash. Long Chen looked at the white-robed man icily. His miserable cries never ended. Long Chen's eyes were filled with iciness. But at the same time, he felt the thrill of revenge filling him. He hated being powerless. He hated others standing high above him. And he hated being used. He swore to himself that he would become stronger so that he wouldn't let anyone else ever humiliate him like this again. Suddenly, that star in Long Chen's eye began to fade slowly and Long Chen immediately felt his exhaustion return to him. He fell down. Long Chen didn't fall onto the cold ground, but into a soft embrace. A faint, delicate fragrance caused him to feel incomparably warm. Long Chen. Chu Yao hugged the extremely weak Long Chen. Joyful tears filled her eyes. After all the twists and turns, the rain had finally cleared, leaving them with a new beginning. Lying in your embrace is really comfortable. Maybe I'll take a nap. Long Chen closed his eyes wearily. Chu Yao's pretty face turned red, and Long Chen felt that something was a bit strange. Opening his eyes to glance around, he saw that his father, mother, Shi Fang, and all the others were looking at him strangely. Chu Yao's face turned even redder. Long Chen awkwardly laughed and did his best to stand up. If he wanted to take advantage of Chu Yao in front of this many people, he probably would have to thicken his face some more. The white-robed man at the bottom of the hole was no longer screaming. Even a tendon transformation expert was unable to endure the pain of the bone eroding needles, and he had now died. Looking at his needle covered, chaired corpse, everyone relaxed. This monstrously powerful person had finally died. It was just at this moment that a disturbance occurred at where Long Shiang Xiao was. An officer had run over to Long Shiang Xiao and bowed, reporting to Marquis. We had captured the Grand Xia's spies, but they seized the seventh prince. We beg Marquis to make a decision. That officer was extremely bright, knowing when to be flexible and take advantage of the situation. Now that Long Chen's battlefield had finally reached a conclusion, he immediately ran over. Chu Yao's expression changed. Her little brother, Long Chen said, let's go over. The layers of soldiers parted ways to let them through. Long Chen saw two familiar people and couldn't help but have a cold smile appear on his lips. Those two were precisely Zhao Yao Yang and Xia Beichi. Zhao Yao Yang held a long sword in his hand and closely held it against Chu Feng's neck. Seeing Long Chen's arrival, Xia Beichi nervously said, Long Chen, if you don't want there to be any problems, then hurry up and let us leave. Otherwise, go ahead and kill. Long Chen smiled slightly. Chapter 111 Dreamland Translator Born to be Long Chen's words gave everyone a shock. Chu Yao's face was the palest. However, only Chu Feng's expression didn't change from the start as he calmly looked at Long Chen. Xia Beichi couldn't believe her eyes. You want me to kill Hai A Long Sword stabbed through a body and blood slowly trickled out. Xia Beichi hadn't even finished speaking. Looking down in disbelief, she saw a Long Sword had appeared through her stomach. She was at a complete loss. What? Why? Xia Beichi collapsed onto the ground, dead. Even in her last moments, she still didn't comprehend why he would kill her. Zhao Yao Yang was staring ahead blankly. The long sword in his hand was still stuck in Xia Beichi's corpse. Long Chen smiled slightly. His vision truly had been far-reaching in this case. Back then, Long Chen had played a trick on Zhao Yao Yang and made it so that he couldn't sleep soundly at night and he was tormented into a life worse than death while he was awake. In the end, Zhao Yao Yang had apologized and knelt to Long Chen to beg for his forgiveness. Long Chen truly had been thinking of letting him off. But the resentment that was hidden deep in Zhao Yao Yang's eyes hadn't escaped his senses. And so he had given him a special medicinal pill. The medicinal pill which he had given Zhao Yao Yang's father also had something special which Long Chen had applied on it. And that was why countless heart devouring ants had appeared and eaten him alive. As for the medicinal pill which he had given Zhao Yao Yang, Long Chen had added soul bewitching grass into it. The effect would normally hide inside the body. But just by drawing out a strand of his spiritual strength, he was able to turn him into a puppet that could only follow his orders. Finish yourself off too, ordered Long Chen indifferently. Zhao Yao Yang didn't even pause. The long sword in his hand directly cut across his neck. Blood splattered everywhere as he immediately died. 
Every single person present felt a chill run through them. That was too bizarre. Too frightening. With just a single sentence, he could force someone to suicide without hesitation. That was practically demonic sorcery. Long Chen didn't pay the slightest attention to those soldiers' fear. Ordering some of the officials. Two stretchers were quickly built to carry Little Snow and Wild back to their estate. Little Snow's injuries were extremely heavy. Many of his internal organs had ruptured. But as long as he was alive, it wouldn't cause any troubles for Long Chen. Furthermore, Little Snow was a magical beast. So his recovery rate was already shocking on its own. After giving Little Snow some medicinal pills, he then examined Wild again. He noticed that wild cells were still in their suspended animation state. It appeared that the bone eroding needles had truly harmed wild's body. Despite the great amount of life energy that was nourishing his body, his cells still needed to be awoken slowly. It would require a bit more time before he could heal. As for the many wounds covering Shi Feng and the others, the lucky thing was that none of them were too severe. Even the one who had been the most injured still managed to stay alive. After putting everything in order, Long Chen was finally unable to continue enduring and entered a deep slumber. The battle this time had been the most intense battle in his life. If his willpower wasn't so strong, he would have long since fainted. Now that everything had ended, he finally relaxed. He was so deeply asleep that it was practically like he was in a coma. Long Chen began to dream that his body was floating upwards. He didn't know how long or how far he had floated. But when he finally opened his eyes, he saw that he was in an endless void filled with millions upon millions of twinkling stars. Boom. The void suddenly exploded open. A fist caused the entire void to collapse. That world around him shattered like a mirror. Long Chen was astonished. Looking along the fist, he followed it up to see its owner. Seeing that figure, Long Chen almost cried out in shock. That was because that figure had a divine ring behind his back just like him. But that divine ring was far greater than his own. Long Chen's divine ring could only grow up to 300 meters, but the divine ring here was basically endless, filling the entire universe. Suddenly, an angry roar caused all the stars in the distance to flicker. A huge, ferocious beast that was even larger than a mountain appeared. It had three heads and nine tails. It was a mythical beast that was covered completely in black fur. The pressure being emitted from it caused the heavens to tremble and made even Long Chen feel as if he were about to be crushed. A black light shot out of that ferocious beast. Any of the stars in its path exploded and faded away. It was shooting straight towards that person with the divine ring. The person's divine ring trembled, and a palm shot out to meet with the black light. Long Chen only managed to see a wave of ripples fill the void. When the ripples faded, the void shook and countless stars exploded into nothingness, appearing like fireworks. That scene appeared like nothing more than the apocalypse. Long Chen could only watch on stupefied as that man with the divine ring fought with that huge, ferocious beast. The void collapsed wherever they collided. That kind of power was enough to destroy the entire world. Long Chen was scared stupid by this fight. With just a wave of a hand, they were able to destroy countless stars, collapse the heavens, and shatter the land. Just what kind of monsters could fight on this level? From a small gap in the space, Long Chen suddenly saw that there was someone else behind the man but he was unable to see clearly. Long Chen was unable to change his vantage point, so he couldn't tell just who that figure was. He couldn't tell if it was even a man or woman, but he could sense that that figure was familiar and amiable with him. Long Chen tried his utmost to gaze into the distance to see who it was, but suddenly, the man who was fighting turned his head. Long Chen's gaze blurred, and he couldn't tell any of that man's features except his eyes. That pair of eyes were exceedingly deep. Within the pupils were nine flickering stars that possessed great vicissitudes. Long Chen's heart jumped wildly. The divine ring and those stars, weren't those things that could only be formed with the nine star hegemon body art? Time is running out. A divine voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. The void world around him completely disappeared. Long Chen suddenly sat up, his whole body covered in sweat, gasping for breath. He could clearly remember everything from that dream, down to the smallest detail. For it to be so clearly imprinted in his mind, it was definitely no ordinary dream. Time's running out? What does that mean? Is it his time that's running out? Or my time? Just who was that? The void was destroyed with a single blow, tearing apart countless stars. Just what kind of realm has he reached? And that mysterious beast, what was it? The aura was so strange, and seems to be filled with death. But it was clearly alive. And just who was that figure behind the man? Why do I feel like it was a friend I know? What is going on? Questions ran amok in his head. 
Back when Shahua had saved him and he had been unconscious, he had clearly heard a voice. You must awaken. You have far too many missions that are awaiting for you to finish. You must become stronger. You have far too many enemies waiting for you to slaughter. Your destiny is to overturn heaven and earth. All gods and devils can only crawl under your foot. Long Chen, quickly awaken. Those three lines continued to run through Long Chen's mind. Those sentences seemed to be closely related to the scene he had just seen in his dream. But this was clearly an incomplete jigsaw puzzle. It was impossible to get any of the pieces to fit up, let alone figure out what the full picture was. Long Chen rubbed his head, feeling as if his head was about to explode. There was no way for him to comprehend it. So he just directly gave up on trying to figure it out. But there was one thing he was sure of. Those memories, which had suddenly appeared in his head back then, were definitely no coincidence. His spirit root had been stolen, turning his dantian into an empty wasteland. But the nine-star hegemon body art specifically did not require a dantian. Back when Long Chen had condensed the tenth cyclone in his dantian, he had begun to suspect that the nine-star hegemon body art had been specifically tailor-made for him. When that tenth cyclone had been condensed, he had noticed that spiritual key had raged and dashed around his dantian. If his dantian had already possessed spiritual key, it would have been like lighting a fuse, and those ten cyclones would have all exploded. Perhaps even he himself would have exploded, leaving him dead without a corpse. Long Chen wasn't a big believer in coincidences or luck. After all, he had never been lucky while growing up. Only by putting in much more effort than others could he achieve his goals. Furthermore, the voice that had rung in his head twice now made it even more unlikely that it was a coincidence. It seemed that it was more like a meticulous plan. Awaken to complete my mission? Become stronger to slaughter enemies? Destined to topple heaven and earth? It was completely inconceivable. Long Chen thought about it and suddenly laughed bitterly. That kind of goal didn't seem to concern a small blood condensation amateur like him. But when he thought of that man, his heart beat wildly. The divine ring and stars make it likely that he was using the nine star hegemon body art as well. So does it mean I will become like that one day? Long Chen finally reached the crux of the matter. He could feel his own heart beating in disappointment over his current level. Well, I still have to walk this path no matter what. Perhaps there really will be a day where I can reach such heights. Long Chen consoled himself. Although he felt that it would be a lie to say that he felt that he could reach such a level, it was best to at least have a goal. After all, what if he did manage to achieve it? Only at this moment did he have time to examine his foot's Feng Fu star. The current Feng Fu star had completely changed from before. It was like a real star, seeming to possess its own vitality, releasing endless energy. Long Chen recalled how he had summoned out an extremely terrifying Feng Fu battle armor back during the fight. So the meaning of the nine star transformations is referring to nine evolutions of each star having them eventually becoming a real star and reach the perfect state. Long Chen finally understood why he had only completed the ninth transformation during the fight. Before that, his Feng Fu star had only undergone eight transformations, and he had been unable to reach the ninth transformation. But that day, Long Chen's fury had soared and his killing intent had exploded, triggering the last transformation, letting his Feng Fu star reach perfection. At the same time, he also understood that while the Feng Fu star could be used as an energy source during normal times, it could, more importantly, summon the Feng Fu battle armor. The current him was unable to summon out the Feng Fu battle armor for a long time. At most he could only keep it up for a couple of breaths time. But Long Chen was still extremely pleased to have understood another secret of the nine star hegemon body art, that would be of great assistance to him in the future. The Feng Fu battle armor's power was practically unstoppable. So what if its time limit was so short? As long as he could defeat Chiring his enemy within that time, it would be fine. Suddenly, Long Chen thought of another matter. Back when that mysterious scene had faded away, a piece of information had also appeared in his mind. Long Chen closed his eyes and recalled that information. When he finally recalled the contents of that information, he opened his eyes, filled with disbelief. Chapter 112 Aliyah Star Translator Born to be what Long Chen had never expected was that that final bit of information was the pill formula for the Aliyah pill. One, that naturally made him wild with joy. The Aliyah star was the second star of the nine star hegemon body art. It was located in the center of the right palm, the opposite location of the Feng Fu star in the left foot. In other words, Long Chen could now cultivate the nine star hegemon body art second level. His Feng Fu star had reached perfection now giving Long Chen great confidence in himself. 
If he could open up a second star, that would be equivalent to having two danshans, allowing him to increase his cultivation speed even further. Just the single Fenfu star had already allowed Long Chen's combat ability to soar. If he could also succeed in condensing the Aliyah star, then with the superposition of both stars, just how terrifying would his power become? Thinking back to his dream and that powerful man who possessed the huge divine ring and the nine stars in his eyes, Long Chen's heart beat wildly. Perhaps there would really come a day when he would also be that strong. Wait, what? Long Chen couldn't help but jump in shock when he looked over the pill formula. Flame lizard horn. Ice cold python essence blood. Killin' fruit. Nine flavor cuting. Two. Immortal chrysanthemum. Long Chen was shocked to find that the Aliyah pills formula required over 30 rare and precious medicinal ingredients. Amongst them, the Killin fruit medicinal ingredient was the most difficult to find. It had practically become extinct in this world. Even if he had somehow managed to luckily obtain a few Killin fruits, that would still be nothing in comparison to the total amount which he needed if he assumed an accordingly high consumption as he had required with the Feng Fu star. The flame of his excitement was immediately doused by icy water. This was something that was impossible to accomplish Novaloon.com he then thought of something that absolutely chilled him. The nine star hegemon body art was a technique that had circulated down from ancient times. That meant that its pill formulas were based on medicinal ingredients from that time. But in the current era, many of those ingredients had already become extinct. Just how was he supposed to find them? Not only did he have to find them, but he also needed to collect an absolutely massive quantity of them. That was practically as difficult as ascending the heavens. It was too discouraging, enough to cause him to despair. After just running into the second star, he had already run into this huge problem. Then what about the third or fourth star? But then thinking about it, Long Chen laughed, telling himself that he had been too pessimistic. So what if Phoenix Cry didn't have them? That didn't mean that there weren't other places where they did exist. Although he didn't want to admit it. Both the Huaian pavilions Beiling and that white-robed man had considered this to be an uncivilized land, the latter even considering him to be a frog at the bottom of a well. Then why shouldn't he go out to take a look into that vaster space? Furthermore, he also had to go see his future wife. After all, if too much time passed, perhaps she would forget about him. That would be tragic. He also remembered the Pill Valley tablet which Grandmaster Yun Qi had given him. He truly wanted to know what that place which was considered a holy land in the hearts of pill cultivators, was like, if he could enter that holy land, then wouldn't it be possible for him to easily obtain even more precious treasures that would make cultivating in the nine-star hegemon body art more doable? Then wouldn't all his problems be easily resolved? Thinking of all this, Long Chen couldn't help but feel as if the clouds were finally parting and he could now see the clear, blue sky. His mood immediately became much more relaxed. At this moment, the door to his room was slowly opened, and a young woman quietly brought in a basin of fresh water for him. There was also a towel soaking in the water. Are you being this quiet to not wake me? Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. That graceful, pretty woman's long hair flowed past her shoulders. She had clear, limpid eyes, and eyebrows like crescent moons. She was Phoenix Cry's third princess, Chu Yao. She shook and looked at Long Chen's bed, seeing the laughing and teasing Long Chen. Her pretty face turned completely red. You're up. I'll wash your face. Setting down the basin, she picked up the towel and twisted it a couple of times before lightly walking over to Long Chen. Blushing, she gently and carefully wiped Long Chen's face. Smelling her faint fragrance and feeling her heartbeat, Long Chen felt a burst of warmth. He reached out his hands and tightly embraced her slender waist. Chu Yao was immediately pulled in Long Chen's embrace, resting her head against his chest comfortably. Her heart beat affectionately. Feeling her lying in his embrace, Long Chen felt an unprecedented level of peace. Neither of them said anything, simply silently sensing the other's heartbeat. All words were simply superfluous. After an unknown time, Chu Yao reached out her hand and stroked Long Chen's cheek, roving her gaze over his face. She faintly said, Long Chen, how about we stay like this for the rest of our lives? We'll never have to part again. His heart jumped. Those words immediately caused him to think of a certain maiden. Although she wasn't too beautiful, her bright eyes were filled with love. I just hope that when you look upon this necklace in the future, you'll remember that there was once a girl, whose heart, yearned to go hunting with you, and make babies, rubbing the necklace on his neck. Long Chen couldn't stop himself from sighing. His thoughts landed on that small village. Just how was she now? What's wrong? Chu Yao sensed Long Chen was thinking about something else. 
Long Chen told her everything from beginning to end. The chase from Mark was Ying, almost dying near some isolated cliffs, being saved by Xiaohua. Long Chen, that Xiaohua is just a kind and honest girl. Why would you reject her? A feeling of intense pity filled Chu Yao's heart when she heard the story of Xiaohua. She might be a princess, but she also knew that in this world where the strong were revered, men dominated most of the world. Having multiple wives and concubines was more common than not. She had never thought to monopolize Long Chen's love for herself. She couldn't help but feel pity when hearing of his bitter encounter with Xiaohua. But at the same time, she also began to feel some fear that the miserable situation with Xiaohua would repeat itself with her. Seeing Chu Yao's expression change to become that of a frightened rabbit, he lightly kissed her on the forehead. Have you forgotten our promise to each other? Chu Yao's eyes blurred as she remembered the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival once more. She softly said, The dragon swims across the four oceans. The phoenix flies throughout the nine lands. Seas of blood may block us, but we will never give up our path. Dragon and phoenix will both live to old age. Long Chen, can we really grow old together? Chu Yao didn't know why, but she was filled with grief and distress after repeating their promise to each other. Of course, we will forever be together. Long Chen gently rubbed Chu Yao's cheek. But, but, I'm afraid I'll end up the same as Xiaohua. A tear streaked across her face, making Long Chen feel heartbroken. It won't be the same. Xiaohua had many things she wanted to protect. She couldn't let go of her feelings towards the village. I am also the same. I also have something I must protect. That thing is you. Smiled Long Chen. Hey, who is a thing? Chu Yao's face reddened and she hit him lightly. Despite knowing Long Chen was joking, her face still reddened. Long Chen laughed mischievously. Chu Yao's feigned anger was extremely cute, letting him forget his melancholy. The current Chu Yao was like a fairy freed from a curse. She no longer had to pretend to be someone other than who she was. Her tenderness completely entranced Long Chen, hugging her waist. Long Chen wished time would freeze forever at this moment, but he knew that although the Long family's crisis had finally been resolved, that didn't mean everything was over. There were still many more things to do. Long Chen, who is Men Qi? Chu Yao asked suddenly. Long Chen stumbled, not knowing how to reply for a moment. I, I don't have any other meaning. I just want to know a little bit about big sister Men Qi. I hope that in the future, we can get along well. Chu Yao hastily explained when she saw that Long Chen was speechless. Long Chen thought about it for a moment and immediately realized his mother had carelessly leaked this gossip. Otherwise, Chu Yao wouldn't know about Men Qi. Thank you. Long Chen suddenly thanked her. Why are you thanking me? Chu Yao was puzzled. As an empire's princess, I really have made it hard on you. Long Chen knew that for Chu Yao to call Men Qi big sister meant she was willing to not be the first, main wife, for a woman, that was definitely an extremely great sacrifice. Chu Yao shook her head, I don't feel wronged, actually, I feel quite blessed, I've always felt like I was under a curse to forever be a trapped little bird, it was you who changed everything for me, I don't know why, but the very first time I saw you, I immediately felt a strange feeling, now when I think back to it. I feel like it was perhaps simply fate. Yes, it was fate. That was also the first time I was trussed up like a fish in a net and almost turned to paste. Long Chen laughed. You, didn't you also hit me back then? Scoundrel. Chu Yao gently gave him a pinch. Her face as red as a ripened apple. Thinking back to the first time they had met, they looked at each other and suddenly laughed. Tightly snuggling against each other, Long Chen told Chu Yao everything that had happened with Men Qi. He also told her about the matter of Men Qi sending him a scarlet flame snow wolf Long Chen. You're a good person. After hearing him speak, Chu Yao gently caressed Long Chen's cheek. Since meeting Long Chen, Chu Yao had learned all about his past. She knew Long Chen had suffered much pain, much more than she ever had. But even so, Long Chen still didn't harbor the slightest grudge against Men Qi for breaking off their engagement. He even went out of his way to consider what she wanted. In Chu Yao's eyes, Long Chen was truly too kind-hearted, but no matter how thick Long Chen felt his face was, he couldn't help but turn flushed from that. That kindness hadn't exactly been pure. Back then, he had only done it like that in hopes that Men Qi would think better of him. Frankly speaking, that was just a high-level technique to pick up girls. It was a perfect technique he had only used because he had realized Men Qi was a truly kind-hearted woman. A beauty was now in his arms praising him because of his technique to pick up girls. Long Chen was too embarrassed to show his face, but while everything was perfect with Chu Yao, 
He didn't know just what he should do about Menki. He had no idea whether it would be easy or difficult for her to fall for his charms. Although Menki was kind-hearted, that didn't mean she would accept having to share his love with another woman. There were some women who were highly opposed to that. Furthermore, even Long Chen himself wasn't sure whether their relationship truly had any love or romance to it. That was because even up to this point, it had always been a one-sided love on his part. Thinking of that, Long Chen once more felt a headache coming on. Having just resolved the Long family's crisis, even more matters came up like a flood. Suddenly, footsteps rang outside, scaring Chu Yao from Long Chen's embrace. Chapter 113 Secret Translator Born to be the door to Long Chen's room was pushed open. Long Chen's mother and father walked in. Seeing that Long Chen was already able to sit up, they were extremely overjoyed. Novaloon.com How's your recovery? Long Shiang Xiao walked up to Long Chen and examined his complexion. I'm pretty much healed. Long Chen shrugged. After his Feng Fu star had advanced to become a true star, his recovery rate had grown to a shocking level. His body had already healed itself by the time he had woken up. Right. Dad, how are your wounds? Long Chen asked, concerned. Although Long Chen had experienced the most intense battle, his injuries weren't that severe. On the other hand, it was Long Shiang Xiao whose injuries were the most worrisome. Long Shiang Xiao smiled slightly. They're already nothing to worry about. The Alchemist Guild sent me quite a few medicinal pills. The new guild chairman even treated my wounds personally. I should be fully recovered in just a few days. Saying that, Long Shiang Xiao was filled with pride. For an existence like the Alchemist Guild to treat the Long family so well was all because of Long Chen. Chen Er, mom was worried to death these past few days. Let mom see if you've become thinner. Mrs. Long only had an opportunity to butt in now, and she came up to rub Long Chen's cheeks. Long Chen didn't quite know how to react to that. His father also had a strange expression. Long Chen laughed. Mom, if you want to know if I've lost weight, you'll probably have to lift me to tell. Long Shiang Xiao and Chu Yao both laughed heartily. Mrs. Long indignantly said, This child, when did you get so cheeky? You dare play jokes on your mom? You're no longer a baby. How is mom supposed to pick you up? Their small group laughed and conversed harmoniously. Long Shiang Xiao saw that Long Chen's complexion was excellent, not at all like someone who had just experienced a great battle and was injured. While he was gratified by that, he was also shocked inside. That recovery ability was too astonishing, practically comparable to magical beasts. Right, how are little snow and wild? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Wild, that child, is practically a freak. Even after having endured that many bone-eroding needles, he only slept for a single night before waking up, and as soon as he woke up, he was ravenously hungry and ate everything that could be eaten in our home. We already had to send him out to the pasture outside to get more food, said Mrs. Long. After this great crisis, Mrs. Long now already considered Wild as her own child. Long Chen smiled slightly. He knew it was because of the effect of the liquid given to him by the spirit world expert. That liquid possessed extremely dense life energy and was exceedingly precious. If Long Chen's guess wasn't wrong, that was most likely a trace of that expert's life essence. That kind of gift was definitely not a light one. With Wild's unique constitution, recovering that fast was only within reason since his body had been given such powerful nourishment. But although his body was recovering, he definitely needed to replenish a great deal of energy after being tortured for so long. He was probably crazily devouring meat right now. As for Little Snow, we don't know how he's recovering. We set him up in a room and he won't let anyone near him, explained Mrs. Long. Haha, <laughs> let's go take a look. Long Chen tidied up his clothes and arrived at an outer room of the Long Estate. One of the room's walls was torn down. That was because Little Snow's body was too big and he couldn't fit through the door. They could see Little Snow lying there even from a distance. Woo. Long Chen had yet to even get too close when the dozing Little Snow blinked his eyes and charged over. Mrs. Long was given a fright and almost screamed. Facing such a huge beast, everyone would instinctively feel fear. Even Long Shiang Xiao felt a powerful pressure. Long Chen laughed and hugged Little Snow's head. Looks like you've also recovered. His powerful spiritual strength swept out and entered Little Snow's body. Little Snow's broken bones had already mended back together. But there were still places where it hadn't fully grown back and so there were many cracks. But Long Chen's medicinal pills were all high quality, and so they were very effective. Adding on Little Snow's powerful recovery ability, there was already not much to worry about. Your major wounds have only just healed. You have to take it easy and not make any intense movements. Understood. 
Long Chen affectionately rubbed Little Snow's head. Woo woo. Little Snow rubbed his head against Long Chen's chest. Mrs. Long looked at that obedient and cute Little Snow that was practically acting like a puppy and couldn't help but curiously ask. Chen Er. Can he understand what you're saying? Yup. Pretty much. He grew up with me from the size of a hand. So he understands my intentions. Explained Long Chen. In reality. Little Snow was unable to understand Long Chen's speech. But due to their spiritual connection. He could sense and understand Long Chen's thoughts. At the same time. Long Chen could also sense Little Snow's emotions. But this communication wasn't through words and so it wasn't that precise. Where did you get him? How come I didn't know about it? Mrs. Long was startled. Haha. He was sent to support me by Men Qi. Long Chen replied without thinking. But as soon as he said that. He saw his mother doing her best to signal him with his eyes. Obviously. She was warning him not to mention Men Qi in front of Chu Yao. Mrs. Long already regretted her big mouth. Mom. Big Sister Men Qi sent such a precious magical beast to Long Chen. That is enough to prove that Big Sister Men Qi has deep emotions for Long Chen. This is a good thing. Said Chu Yao. Mom? You've changed the honorific so fast. Long Chen felt it was inconceivable. But as soon as he said that. Chu Yao's face turned completely red and Mrs. Long pulled her over to her side and fiercely told Long Chen. Child. Let me tell you. Chu Yao is the first daughter-in-law. If you make her feel wronged. I will not forgive you. Mrs. Long's words were extremely clever. That first daughter-in-law was used remarkably well. Causing Chu Yao to feel much more comfortable. Long Chen definitely admired his mother's skill in this area. Long Chen looked from his mother to Chu Yao and didn't say anything. Only laughing foolishly. He laughed so much that Chu Yao wished she could find somewhere to hide herself. Okay. Now that the crisis has passed and everything's fine. Let's properly eat a meal. After all. We're finally all together. Proposed Long Shiang Xiao. To Long Shiang Xiao who spent his days fighting. Being able to eat a meal with his family was an extremely rare and precious opportunity. Their servants quickly prepared a sumptuous feast for them. But Long Chen noticed that the majority of them were all new faces. So he couldn't help but feel astonished. Your father switched them all out. Explained Mrs. Long. What? Child. Normally you're so smart. So how did you become so dumb now? They followed our long family for so many years. Always loyal and devoted. Having been implicated into such a terror. They almost lost their lives. Our long family owes them far too much. Your father already gave each of them a huge fortune. Enough to provide for them for a lifetime. That can count as compensation for them. But there was still a portion of them who didn't want to leave and so they're still working for us. In any case. We must remember this favor in our hearts. Sighed Mrs. Long. Those people had been unrelated to their Long family. But when the Long family had been down and out, they hadn't abandoned them. In comparison, his mother's family, which were clearly her blood sisters, had decided to hurt her as they had. Looking at his mother's sullen expression, Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao exchanged a glance and quickly changed the topic to something happier, quickly bringing her out of her sadness. Dad, your son toasts you. Long Chen raised a large cup of alcohol to Long Shiang Xiao. To our family's reunion, Long Shiang Xiao laughed heartily and also raised his cup, clinking their glasses. Chu Yao and Mrs. Long also raised their wine glasses. The four of them were all smiling happily. Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao directly emptied their cups in one go. As for Chu Yao and Mrs. Long, they obviously didn't have such a high tolerance for alcohol. Chu Yao only drank one gulp before her face flushed, making her appear even cuter. That child wild still hasn't returned in two days. Mrs. Long felt a bit uneasy that they were missing Wilde in their group. Haha, <laughs> Wilde's probably still busy eating. Don't worry, laughed Long Chen. Pouring another cup for his father, he asked. Dad how's the situation in the capital? It's somewhat tranquil. Phoenix Cry's biggest competitor was the Grand Zaya, but now the Grand Zaya has become a complete mess. The other prince was assassinated and now all the officials are busy greedily fighting for the position of emperor. Even if one of them eventually becomes the new emperor. Their empire's power will have dropped greatly. It'll be impossible for them to threaten Phoenix Cry. As for Phoenix Cry, the other princes have already withdrawn from the power struggle. The seventh prince was recommended as the crown prince and is now in charge of the imperial court. Long Shiang Xiao drank a mouthful of alcohol. The other princes might be greedy. They weren't stupid. They knew that none of them were able to compete with the seventh prince. That was because behind him stood a tendon transformation expert. His sister. Furthermore, who didn't know of Chu Yao's relationship with Long Chen? 
with the backing of the Long family, no one would dare compete against him, and since they couldn't compete, the next best thing was to curry favor. The other princes all loudly acclaimed their praise for Chu Feng's ascension, acting as if it was only to be expected. Long Chen glanced at Chu Yao and suddenly laughed naughtily. Haha, the sister of the emperor. Come, a toast for you. Being the husband of the emperor's sister really is exciting, you bad man. Chu Yao glared at Long Chen prettily, causing the three of them to laugh. Child, you're not allowed to bully Chu Yao. Mrs. Long resisted laughing and lightly scolded him. In order to not miff Chu Yao, Mrs. Long revealed some embarrassing stories of Long Chen from when he was young. This time it was Long Chen's turn to be helpless as Chu Yao laughed endlessly. Their family ate together in peaceful happiness. After eating, Long Chen hesitated for a while before summoning up the courage to say, Dad, Mom, I want to go take a look at the outside world. Mrs. Long's smile immediately disappeared. Chu Yao was also startled. Only Long Shiang Xiao had seemed to have long since expected that. His expression completely calm. After a moment of silence, Mrs. Long's trembling voice asked, Chen Er, you really want to leave home? Long Chen lowered his head, not able to look his mother in the eyes. Their family had only just reunited. It was cruel to separate them again. But Long Chen truly did want to see the outside world. His lover was still in that outer world, the spirit world, Pill Valley, and that figure from his dreams with the power to destroy the very world. Those things all told him that he had to leave Phoenix Cry. I'm preparing to leave with Chu Yao and Wild. Long Chen's voice was so quiet that even he could barely hear it. His heart was filled with pain. Chu Yao clearly relaxed a breath when she heard that. But looking at Mrs. Long's heartbroken gaze, she immediately felt sad again. Our child has grown up. We should let him decide his own future. We have to learn to let go, said Long Shiang Xiao suddenly. He continued, Chen Er, since you've decided, it's time for me to tell you a certain secret. Long Shiang Xiao, you. Mrs. Long suddenly stood up and angrily glared at Long Shiang Xiao, giving Long Chen a fright. As far as he could ever remember, his mother and father had always gotten along extremely well, never showing anger to each other like this. For his mother's reaction to be so huge caused him to be at a loss. He has the right to know the truth. Long Shiang Xiao firmly looked back at his wife. You. Long Shiang Xiao. I hate you. Mrs. Long suddenly began to cry and ran out. Chu Yao saw this situation and also left hastily, leaving behind only the two of them, father and son. Chapter 114 The Truth Translator Born to be there was a certain river that flowed completely straight with no end in sight. It was bordered by high cliffs whose sides were as smooth as if they had been cleaved by a sword. The river was hundreds of meters deep, and the racing water was like galloping horses, roaring into the distance, forming countless eddies. Two people, one old and one young, were standing right on the edge of a cliff, looking down on the swirling river. Dad, why have you brought me here? Long Chen was still confused. The two of them had flown on a flying magical beast for a full day to arrive here. The view was definitely amazing, but Long Shiang Xiao wouldn't waste that much effort just to bring him here for the scenery. Long Chen also sensed that this river was a bit odd, but as for what part of it was strange, he was unable to tell. We came here so I can tell you the truth about your past. Long Shiang Xiao looked down on the surging water, his expression complicated. The truth about my past. Long Chen couldn't believe his own ears. Long Shiang Xiao sighed and patted Long Chen's shoulders. You are not actually my birth child. You were adopted. What? How is that possible? Long Chen looked at Long Shiang Xiao in shock. His heart a complete mess. That is also why your mom went so out of control that day. She didn't want you to know this secret. Even in the face of life and death battles, Long Chen had never felt so lost. He couldn't accept this. His own father and mother weren't his birth parents? Long Chen's mind became empty and desolate as if he had lost his soul. Chen Er, although you aren't my biological son, in the eyes of your mom and I, you are our true son. Long Shiang Xiao's eyes blurred as he looked at Long Chen. If I'm not your biological son, why was I a part of your marriage agreement that you made before either Men Qi or I were born? Asked Long Chen. Hearing that, a pained expression appeared on Long Shiang Xiao's face. Looking down on the surging water, he said. Your mother and I were expecting a child, but in the seventh month of her pregnancy, an accident caused your mother to miscarry. We felt the painful loss of a child. At that time, your mother was in so much pain that she wished she were dead. Furthermore, at that time, I wasn't even home as I had gone hunting. Your mother almost committed suicide. 
Only after I returned did your mother tell me about this matter. Was it done by Marquis Ying? Long Chen ground his teeth. Long Shiang Xiao shook his head. No. At that time, I had yet to sever his finger and still didn't have that much of enmity with Marquis Ying. It really was just a careless mishap by your mother. That was also why she was filled with so much remorse and pain. I had just happened to find you as a baby and bring you back on my trip while I was still unaware of what had happened. You coincidentally filled the regret in your mother's heart. Speaking of which, we both have to thank you. Otherwise, with your mother's constitution, that depression probably would have already taken her life. Long Chen continued to remain silent. Long Shiang Xiao patted him on the shoulder. Real men don't need to become a mess just because of some blood relations or not. Even if you aren't my birth son, I will forever spend my time trying to protect you from wind or rain. Even if I'm not your birth father, if I really do run into troubles, wouldn't you still risk your life for me? There's no need to worry about such senseless things like blood. Long Chen nodded. He also felt there was no need to split hairs over an insoluble issue. But still, for the parents he loved to not be his birth parents was still something that was difficult to accept. Your mother and I truly treat you as precious as our own lives. That is especially true for your mom. Having already lost a child, you are everything in her life, said Long Shiang Xiao. Long Chen shook. He finally understood why Long Shiang Xiao had told Chen Fei to protect Long Chen above everything else, even his mother. In the case of the worst case scenario, back then, he had thought that his father had given up on his mother, that he would protect him over his mother had caused him to feel some anger and disappointment. But now he finally understood his father's pain. His mother had already lost a child. She absolutely wouldn't be able to endure losing a second child. If his father did end up saving his mother while letting Long Chen die, she would hate him for the rest of her life. Thinking of how deep his mother and father's love for him was, Long Chen couldn't control his tears anymore and began to cry. A father's love was like a mountain. A mother's love was like an ocean. He would never be able to repay their love in his lifetime. And now he was about to leave them. He was really too heartless. Dad, I Long Chen was about to say that he wouldn't go when his father interrupted him. Chen Er, men must aspire to travel afar and make their mark on the world. Don't give up your dream just for some familial love. If you do, your mother and I would feel guilty for the rest of our lives. I know your mom. Although she can't really let you go like this, she truly wishes for you to be happy. Long Shiang Xiao had to stop for a moment before then continuing. You've also become aware that someone has done something to your body. I also don't know who did this. When I found you, you were barely over a month old. I have no idea who would do such a vicious thing to a baby. But when I found you, I realized your danchen and abdomen had three strange holes in them that had yet to heal. If I haven't guessed wrong, your danchen's spirit root must have been removed with some specific instrument. As for what the other two holes were for, I'm still not sure. But I assume it was furthering what had happened to your spirit root. Long Chen's heart was racing. So what had happened to his body hadn't been done by Marquis Ying. There was some other reason. Long Shiang Xiao only knew that one hole had been facing his danchen and realized that his danchen was completely empty, his spirit root stolen. But after Long Chen had merged with the pill god's memories, he was able to tell that it wasn't just his spirit root. His spirit bone and his heart's spirit blood had also been taken away. Just how vicious would a person have to be in order to do such a thing to a baby only a month old? I knew then that you would perhaps never be able to cultivate. But I had thought that by relying on my capabilities, I could at least provide you with a basic, happy life. But unfortunately, I was drawn into a maelstrom and even implicated you and your mother, causing both of you to suffer much pain. Sighed Long Shiang Xiao helplessly. Originally, your mother and I thought that with our assistance, you would be able to live a carefree life. But now your fate has completely reversed. Even now, your mother and I are still unable to protect you. So even before you brought up leaving, I was long since mentally prepared. Today I brought you here to tell you these things. After all, you have your own birth parents. Your mother and I know the pain of losing one's child. So I feel like you should know the truth. Who are my birth parents? Long Chen took a deep breath. Long Shiang Xiao shook his head. I don't know. Back when I found you, it was right at this place. Two people were fighting intensely. The river you see here was formed by a slash of one of their swords. Long Chen was startled. He looked down at the river in disbelief, unable to say anything. If I hadn't personally seen it, I also wouldn't believe it. But it really is the truth. The two of them were fighting fiercely in the sky. Light shined from their bodies as they fought high up in the air. 
Sword key from them pierced through mountains. Long Shiang Xiao's eyes became unfocused as he sunk back into his memories. Although over ten years had passed since then, it was still as shocking as ever when he thought of it. Back then, I had gone out alone in order to hunt red horned elks as something nutritious for your mother's pregnancy. That was how I ended up seeing such a shocking battle. I immediately hid myself in the distance. In the end, one of them used a secret art and their sword key exploded out. Bizarre lines flew out and filled the sky, and he used a single final blow to kill the other. That sword blow resulted in this huge river. I was absolutely terrified back then, as I had never before seen someone cultivate to such a level. Only after that sword blow did I notice that that person was holding a baby. That person merely glanced at me, and I was immediately unable to move. And then the wind around me changed and I actually involuntarily floated over to that person. I thought that I was done for. But then that person actually just handed over the baby to me and told me to raise him into a fine adult. I was absolutely stupefied, not understanding why such a powerful person would hand me a baby. After that person said that, his expression suddenly changed. He sent me back with a wave of his hand. As for him, countless lines appeared over his body and he slowly dissipated. Reaching this point in his story, Long Shiang Xiao couldn't help but sigh. It was as if that had happened yesterday. That memory was still as vivid as ever. Chen Er, although I don't know who your birth parents are, I dare say that they are shockingly great figures. That is because the person who brought you called you young master. Such a powerful person called himself your servant. Long Chen's heart jumped. A true expert the likes of which he had never seen. One who was capable of cutting apart a mountain with a single blow. Was just a servant? Then just how powerful would his parents be? Long Shiang Xiao continued. Later I was reading some ancient records that mentioned those strange lines. Those lines are called runes and are unimaginably powerful. As for that final technique, it's called Dao Transformation. I didn't understand it much back then, but later I guessed it was a kind of secret technique to make any tracks disappear. He destroyed his own body in order to protect you. Once I brought you to the capital, I gradually forgot about these things. I always treated you as my true son. I thought that perhaps you would never leave us. But after the huge battle a couple of days ago, I can sense that this is perhaps fate. What fate? Asked Long Chen. Just before his death, that expert told me that if you were unable to cultivate in your lifetime, you could just be an ordinary person, living a happy life. But if you could cultivate, he told me to tell you all about this and let you make your own decision. Originally, I thought that you would forever not know the truth. But when I saw your intense fight with that white-robed man, I knew that you would leave. Your mom doesn't want you to leave mostly because she's afraid that once you learned all this, you'll go to find revenge. That person had been flying with Long Chen, meeting with enemies one after another, in the end even forced to use the Dao transformation to dissipate into the world, erasing his tracks. It went without saying that his enemies must be absolutely terrifying. If Long Chen did learn the truth, he would definitely choose to go take revenge. That was what his mother thought. He would have to face countless terrifying experts whose power none of them could imagine. Enmities definitely must be revenged. But dad, don't worry. I won't recklessly send myself to death, said Long Chen. The enmity of stealing his spirit blood, taking his spirit bone, and destroying his spirit root definitely had to be repaid in full. But now still wasn't the time for revenge. He had to quickly increase his strength. Otherwise, he would just be throwing away his life. I knew that you would make such a decision. Come over here. Take a look at what your father and mother left you. Long Shiang Xiao swung his hand, crushing a boulder and revealing an object beneath it. Chapter 115 On the Eve of Departure Translator Born to be shattered pieces of the boulder flew apart, revealing a small, wrapped package. Long Chen picked it up and saw a yellowed piece of paper on top of it. That piece of paper was extremely marvelous. It looked like paper yet felt like soft silk and was as tough as beast hide. Extremely astonishing lines were drawn on that paper. Those lines emitted a faint light. That person told me these runes could isolate the aura of the thing inside. It could not be opened within 10 years or else it would attract more killers. Now over 10 years have passed. You should open it, said Long Shiang Xiao. Long Chen nodded and looked away from the runes. Opening the package, he revealed a jade pendant from inside. That jade pendant was only the size of a baby's hand and was a violet color. It had been carved into a mighty and ancient coiled dragon. On the surface, it didn't look like all that much. But when Long Chen picked it up in his hand, he immediately felt his heart calm. All the questions, shock, 
and anger he had been feeling immediately faded away. Long Chen was shocked to find that if he was holding this jade pendant, he could immediately enter a meditative state. The meditative state was a state that ignored all distracting thoughts. It was when the heavens and man could connect, when the heart and mind merged into one, an especially particular state. This kind of state would allow one's cultivation speed to multiply and form an incomparably solid foundation. Cultivators longed to enter such a state, due to all kinds of worries, disturbances, and even joy. The absolute majority of people found it extremely difficult to enter a meditative state. On average, a cultivator might only be able to enter such a meditative state once a month for perhaps only the time it took an incense stick to burn. Long Chen was normally able to enter his meditative state every single time, but it would require him to calm his heart for at least over two hours to eliminate all distracting thoughts before he could just barely manage to do so. Long Chen's spiritual strength was incomparably powerful, yet even he felt it was difficult to enter his meditative state, let alone others. But holding this jade pendant, he could now enter his meditative state at any time he wanted to. It was really too shocking. Other than this jade pendant, there was nothing else in the clothed package. Long Chen carefully examined this jade pendant and felt some grooves on the back of it. He quickly realized they were words. Hastily flipping it over, he saw there were four lines of small words. The dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly on the mortal world of dust. 1. Live peacefully and happily, never to be parted. These lines were written by two different people. The first two lines were written by one hand. The calligraphy was bold and vigorous. They were arrogant words that looked down upon the heavens. That was the writing style of a man. As for the next two lines, they were written gracefully and looked written by a woman. Those words were filled with warmth and tenderness. Looking at those four lines, Long Chen seemed to be able to see a scene of one man and one woman playing with a baby. The man wished for the baby to grow up to be someone who could arrogantly look down on everything in the world, becoming a hero capable of supporting both heaven and earth. The woman wished for the child to grow up healthy, safe and sound. Their family of three would forever be together. Long Chen's eyes unconsciously became wet. Those two people in that scene were his birth father and mother. He could feel their feelings flowing within these words. They both loved him, but he didn't even know who or how they were. He didn't even know if they were even still alive. Long Chen suddenly looked up into the sky and let out a long roar. The sound of his roar soared into the clouds, shaking the mountain valley. Fate was like a huge hand toying with him mercilessly. Long Chen wanted to strike back, but he didn't have enough strength. This kind of vexing feeling truly was infuriating. His roar hung in the air for the time it took for an incense stick to burn. Only then was his suppressed anger slightly relieved. At the same time, it firmed up his determination to become stronger. He would go find his birth parents. The dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly at the mortal world of dust. Live peacefully and happily, never to be parted. Long Shiang Xiao Softy read the words and couldn't stop himself from sighing. Us father and son truly did have destiny between us. Back when your mother was pregnant, I fantasized that my child would one day become a hero that was even more powerful than me. As for your mother, she hoped her child could grow up carefree and without worries. She didn't want her child to be some hero doing troublesome things. Dad, did that person say anything else? Long Chen examined the jade pendant. I asked him back then how you were supposed to find your parents once you grew up. He said that as long as you became strong enough and stepped into the peak of cultivation, you would naturally know who your parents are. But if you were unable to reach the peak of cultivation, everything would be meaningless and it would be better for you to live a carefree life as a mortal, said Long Shiang Xiao. The peak of cultivation? Just what level is the peak of cultivation? Long Chen couldn't help but ask. Long Shiang Xiao bitterly laughed. I also don't know but you at least have to become stronger than that person. He pointed to the canyon. His meaning was obvious. Even someone powerful enough to cut such a huge valley was just a servant. The rest would be up to Long Chen's imagination. Long Chen gently rubbed the jade pendant and nodded. Yes, that day won't be too far. I believe you are capable of this. Let's go back to the capital now. The current situation in the capital is still a bit messy. The capital truly was somewhat of a mess at this moment. Once the spirit stone mine had been revealed, countless experts had rushed over to Phoenix cry like vultures that had found the scent of a corpse. Heavens, have you guys seen that leopard pulling that carriage? It's even bigger than a house. There was a magical beast pulling a luxurious carriage that caused everyone who saw it to let out startled cries. Look, there's another one. This time it's a flying magical beast. 
The sky darkened as a huge eagle flew over. Its terrifying pressure caused people to shiver. More and more experts are appearing in Phoenix Cry. Heavens, I've never seen these many terrifying experts in my life. Over the past few days, more and more experts had come. Even just their mounts were incredibly terrifying. But once those people arrived, they only examined the surroundings first and didn't immediately start mining. They were all waiting for something. The commoners of Phoenix Cry were all observing those experts curiously. On the seventh day, those foreign experts all congregated at the Alchemist Guild. It was rumored that the strongest powers were negotiating about gaining the rights over the Spirit Stone Mine. As for the specific conclusion, outsiders weren't allowed to learn the details. Once Long Chen returned home, he saw his mother whose eyes had already turned red from crying. He comfortingly said, Mom, it doesn't matter if you aren't my birth mother. You are my mother. Don't feel so sad. Chen Er, you still think of me as your mom? Mrs. Long asked happily. Long Shiang Xiao shook his head slightly. Women truly had crazy, bizarre thinking sometimes. Long Chen also didn't exactly know what to think about that. No matter what, you are my mom. My real mom. Only then did her tears turn into laughter. Mom was only worried that once you learned the truth, you wouldn't accept me as your mom anymore. How could that be possible? You raised me from the time I was still in my diapers. Even if I don't accept my dad, I will never not accept my mom. Joked Long Chen. Kid, are you looking for a spanking? Long Shiang Xiao purposely put on a severe expression. Mrs. Long laughed and gently tapped Long Shiang Xiao. Chen Er is just joking. Why do you need to put on such a serious face to scare our child? Seeing his mother laughing, a weight finally lifted from Long Chen's heart. His mother had truly paid far too much for him. Both Long Shiang Xiao and Long Chen looked at each other and laughed. Long Shiang Xiao stealthily raised his thumb towards Long Chen, immediately shifting their attention to the side. Chu Yao was laughing. Long Shiang Xiao praised his son inside. He had brought back a princess into the family so quickly. Mom, brother Long, dad, princess, I've returned. Suddenly, a loud shout came from the gate. They immediately knew who it was. Wild's huge figure ran into the courtyard. Good brother, you've finally recovered. Long Chen laughed and warmly embraced Wild. But Wild's stature was too large. So it was somewhat comedic when they two hugged. Brother Long. That spirit immortal water you gave me to drink was too effective. I feel better than I ever have. And energy is just flowing out of my body. If I run into that bastard Marquis Ying again, I'll definitely be able to wring his neck. Wild brandished his arms. Long Chen examined Wild's body. Wild had grown much stronger. Over 30% of his cells had now awakened. As for the other cells, they were no longer deathly silent and were beginning to stir. Long Chen sighed inside. This time that spirit world expert had truly helped them. Wild's body was just too strange. For this many of his cells to awaken all at once was enough to prove how powerful that thing was. Okay, it's already noon. Let's get Bayer to prepare some food. Chen Er and I didn't have anything to eat at all during our journey, said Long Shiang Xiao. Bayer was already the Long family's highest ranking housekeeper. Furthermore, she was extremely competent, handling everything extremely neat and tidily. Long Chen laughingly said that he wasn't willing to see Bao Er married off to another family. If she was willing, she should find a husband to marry into her family instead. That had caused the shy Bao Er to immediately blush and run off, causing everyone to laugh. Chu Yao had already started to treat the Long family as her own family, other than occasionally going out to see her brother. The majority of her time was spent in their home. After eating, Chu Yao told Long Chen about the current situation in the capital. Hearing that so many terrifying experts had come to the capital, Long Chen's heart shook. Those people were most likely sect members who had come to negotiate about the distribution of the Spirit Stone Mine. If he wanted to join a sect, this was definitely an excellent opportunity. Thinking of sect members, Long Chen naturally thought of that white-robed man. Just an ordinary outer disciple was already so powerful. Then inner disciples and core disciples must be absolutely frightening. If he could infiltrate such a sect, his growth would definitely speed up. Hearing that all those powerful figures were now at the Alchemist Guild, Long Chen decided to bring Chu Yao and Wild straight over to the guild. They could see the entrance to the Alchemist Guild in the distance when the gate was slammed open and an old man angrily stamped out. With just a single step, he almost reached Long Chen. His speed was shockingly fast as he rushed right past Long Chen. Long Chen hastily dodged to the side. A wild gust shot past him. That person had already sped along past him. 
Chu Yao was actually blown back by that wild wind and couldn't even stay standing, requiring Long Chen to keep her up. Who is that person? What terrifying speed. Chu Yao looked at that old man's back as he disappeared into the distance. With his age, he's probably worried about reincarnation. Otherwise, who would walk that fast? Don't bother with him. Let's go. Long Chen had just taken a step when a cold shout suddenly rang out. Wait a moment. Are you Long Chen? Chapter 116 Battle of Tongues Translator Born to be Long Chen turned back to see that that old man, who had shot by just now, had quickly returned. That old man's face was very wrinkled, appearing quite frightening. When he arrived right in front of the three of them, he was especially terrifying. When Long Chen didn't reply, the old man impatiently shouted. This old man asked whether or not you're Long Chen. Yes, I'm Long Chen. Do you have advice for me? Long Chen was a bit baffled, but he still replied. You're Long Chen. That old man ground his teeth. His eyes became bloodthirsty like those of a beast, appearing exceptionally terrifying. The three of them couldn't help but retreat a couple of steps. Long Chen's spiritual key began to circulate. He was ready to fight at any moment. He could sense a horrifying aura from that old man's body. Does senior need something? That old man looked at Long Chen. His eyes like blades as he coldly said. You're the junior generation. Do you not know to greet the senior generation when you meet? Long Chen was startled. But suddenly a terrifying aura locked him in place. He felt as if several tons of force were crashing down on him. Making it so he couldn't breathe easily. Wild was still alright and was just barely able to withstand it. But Chu Yao's face immediately turned pale without the slightest trace of blood. She was shaking and about to fall. Long Chen immediately pulled Chu Yao closer to himself. He used his spiritual key to resist that terrifying spiritual pressure. Have you fucking eaten the wrong medicine? Long Chen couldn't help but feel infuriated and start cursing. Did this old man have some mental disorder? Ignorant Junior. This old man will teach you a lesson today about how to respect your seniors. Seeing Long Chen was trying to resist, he was a bit surprised and increased the spiritual pressure. Wild roared angrily and his body turned slightly red. He tenaciously resisted the spiritual pressure. Giving the old man a shock the spiritual pressure he was releasing was enough to make it so even tendon transformation experts were unable to endure. But this giant kid was able to resist it with just the power of his physical body. Despite being by Long Chen's side and having him counteracting the majority of the spiritual pressure, Chu Yao still suffered harm and spat out a mouthful of blood. Her face as pale as paper. You old bastard. Go to hell. Long Chen angrily roared. He was just about to summon out his divine ring when a calm voice rang out. Stop. That voice wasn't loud and was filled with calm without the slightest bit of anger. But that old man's face immediately turned pale. Although he was a bit unwilling, he withdrew his spiritual pressure. Long Chen immediately felt the pressure lighten. Chu Yao was finally relieved of that great pressure, but her face was still completely pale. Only then did Long Chen realize that at some point, several people had appeared around them. They were currently observing them with a bit of surprise. There were a total of seven people. They were mostly old men with only one beautiful woman who appeared to be in her thirties. But her expression was completely icy cold. That voice had come from one of the old men. That old man's face was like an old plank, looking as if he had been carved by a knife. His expression was serious as he coldly looked at that old man which had attacked Long Chen. No wonder after all these years you have yet to make any progress. All your cultivation has gone to thickening your skin. The others all had odd expressions with a bit of ridicule in them. But within their gaze was clearly a delight in seeing his misfortune. That old man's face immediately turned red. He was furious. However, he didn't dare release that anger. However, he still forced out. This kid was rude to a senior. So what if I teach him a lesson? For Elder Tu Fang to care about this is a bit too far. Xiao Changxing, don't bother trying to cover up anything. Isn't it only because you didn't manage to swallow up all the profit this time and end up wasting all your effort that you released your anger on a youth? Your blood nut sects people must really not care about your face anymore. Snorted another old man coldly. From that. Long Chen immediately understood why that the old man called Xiao Changxing would target him like this. So he was from the same sect as that white-robed man. If it weren't for him being too weak right now, he would have jumped up and immediately attacked this old man. A grand bone forging expert actually attacked a blood condensation junior. Your skin really is thick. If I peeled it off, it could even be used as a shield impervious to sword or spear, water or fire. Another person also coldly ridiculed him. That Xiao Changxing only held some fear for Tu Fang. 
He was completely unafraid of the others. Hearing them ridicule him, he sneered. If you don't accept this, then let's settle things with our fists. There's no need to learn from your wives and fight with your tongues. Those two people, who had spoken out, were infuriated and were about to say something when Tu Fang waved his hand, stopping everyone's quarrel. You're all from your various sects with your own prestige. Don't let the junior generation laugh at you. Let this matter stop here. No one continued to argue after that old man said that. But suddenly one of the elders looked approvingly at Long Chen and said, Little fellow, you're really not bad. When I heard that you beat a sect disciple, I didn't even believe it. But seeing you easily resist a bone-forging expert's spiritual pressure, you really do possess the ability to kill an outer sect disciple. How about it? Do you have the interest in joining my clear sea gate? With your talent, you'll at least be an inner disciple. If you are favored by the seniors in the sect, even being promoted to core disciple wouldn't be difficult. Everyone's expression quickly changed, and they all one by one opened their mouths as well. I'm from the Yuan returning school. I can guarantee that you'll definitely have the position of a core disciple. How about it? A core disciple is nothing. Little fellow, let me tell you, not only will I guarantee you a core disciple status, but you will also have a high chance of obtaining our sect daughter who has been called the number one beauty of our sect little fellow. Don't disappoint my good opinion of you. Hey, you conman. Your sect daughter is only eight years old. Must you trick others like this? HMPH. As long as he cultivates for another 10 years. Why would that matter? How is it conning? Long Chen's group of three could only blankly stare at these sect people with high statuses and high cultivation bases that could stand shoulder to shoulder with that Shao Changxing. Such strong people were actually fighting over Long Chen to pull him into their sects. That was completely out of Long Chen's expectations. Originally, he had thought he would have to beg and suck up in order to get accepted. HMPH. Kid, you've caused a great deal of damage for our Bloodnet sect this time. But if you join my Bloodnet sect, I'll generously agree to forget about this and put all my effort to grooming you. Even Xiao Changxing's anger now disappeared as he thickened his face. Xiao Changxing had come here to represent the Bloodnet sect in the negotiations. After all, the vein of ore was noticed by them the earliest. So no matter what, they should at least get a portion. But after coming here, he was dejected to find that the Phoenix Cry Empire's territory had a total of seven sects around it. According to the past agreement, if a vein appeared in this area, everyone would extract it together and split it equally. That way the best way to avoid any disputes. But the Bloodnet sect's actions were a great violation of that agreement. The result being that they were kicked out from the consideration. They wouldn't even be able to obtain even a single piece of the Spirit Stone Mine. That was why Zhao Changxing was so angry. He was helpless in the face of the other six sects agreement. And especially since Tu Fang was present. He could only swallow his anger at that time. That was why his fury had exploded when he saw Long Chen. He could immediately tell that Long Chen was just at the blood condensation realm. But such a person was actually able to resist his powerful pressure without the slightest panic. As soon as he thought about it for a moment, he realized Long Chen must have been the main reason as to why their plan to obtain the entire spirit stone mine had failed, causing him to feel even more fury. But as part of their sect's agreement, they were unable to directly attack people from the secular world. He had had no choice but to offer a lame excuse as to why he had attacked him. Although he didn't dare kill Long Chen, he had to at least suppress him a bit to relieve some of his anger. And now seeing all those people try to rope in Long Chen, he immediately had to backtrack. He had already failed to obtain a single thing from the Spirit Stone Mine. If he could pull in an extraordinary talented disciple back, that would make up for some of the failure. The sect wouldn't lose out too much. That was why he had opened his mouth. But when he opened his mouth, the others all became silent and looked at him strangely. There was ridicule, despise, and even some admiration in their looks. His thick skin is probably the thickest in all of history. People couldn't help but sigh inside. However, none of them said anything. Since he had offered such a choice, it was up to Long Chen to choose. What do you think? Do you want to return with me to the Bloodnet sect? Think about it properly kid. Don't regret your decision. Xiao Changxing's gaze was tightly fixed on Long Chen. The threat within his words was obvious. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, Long Chen laughed so hard that even tears started to come out, causing Xiao Changxing's face to become increasingly ugly. Kid, what are you laughing about? Xiao Changxing raged. Oh, nothing. I've just been moved by how you have no need for any face. I also want to say a single thing to you. Laughed Long Chen. What thing? 
Xiao Changxing narrowed his eyes and icily asked Long Chen. Long Chen revealed a blessed smile and slowly enunciated each word. Fuck off however far you can think of. He spoke lightly and was smiling, but his words were extremely shocking and funny. You. Xiao Changxing raged, his hair standing on end from his anger. He looked just like a furious lion. He wanted to slap this kid to death with a single blow, but he didn't dare. Okay, just you wait. Xiao Changxing viciously threatened before turning and leaving. Who knew whether he was afraid that he would explode from his anger and he needed to vent a bit, but every single step he took formed more cracks on the stone road. Seeing that Xiao Changxing had stormed off in his anger, everyone laughed. They all wondered whether Long Chen had properly thought his actions through. Long Chen turned to look at Tu Fang who had remained silent in the competition over him. Senior, I wonder what kind of treatment I could get if I joined your sect. Tu Fang slowly opened his eyes and looked at Long Chen, regretfully saying, It would be extremely difficult for you to join my sect. Chapter 117 Sect Selection Translator Born to be what? Tu Fang's words startled everyone, including Long Chen. His intuition told him that this serious old man was definitely a powerful expert. Furthermore, he could also sense that this man was extremely upright and trustworthy. All of the others were trying to pull him into their sects, but only he had yet to say anything. That had piqued Long Chen's curiosity. He wanted to know just what level that old man's sect had reached for him to say such a thing. Elder Tu, we know that your sect is special, but with Long Chen's talent, this, someone opened his mouth to voice his confusion. Tu Fang looked straight at Long Chen. With Long Chen's battle strength, it definitely would be no problem to enter my Zhuanshan Monastery. One, but without a spirit root and with a deathly silent danshan, he won't receive any grooming there. So entering my sect would be worse than joining one of your sects. What? Those elders were all shocked. Without a spirit root, how was he cultivating? Little fellow, excuse me. One of the elders placed a hand on Long Chen's shoulder. Long Chen immediately realized how he had to act and didn't resist. He let the elder's spiritual key circulate once throughout his body. After that, that old man still was unwilling and examined it a second time before slowly letting go of Long Chen and shaking his head helplessly to the others. He has no spirit root, not even the lowest quality one. It'd be impossible to change. The old man sighed. In an instant, all the excitement of the other elders was extinguished. The news that Long Chen had no spirit root hit them like a basin of icy water. All their previous promises were immediately voided, let alone the sect's daughter. He wouldn't even be allowed to join their sects. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Now it had become troublesome. First, they raised me high in the clouds, and now they're immediately letting me go. Are they trying to make me fall to my death? Senior, if I go to the Zhuanshan Monastery, what kind of treatment will I get? Asked Long Chen. Now he no longer had any hopes of becoming a core disciple. As long as they accepted him then it was fine. From what he heard from the others, this Zhuanshan monastery was definitely different than the rest of their sects. His intuition told him that entering the Zhuanshan monastery was his best option. Right. This junior is also a pill adept. Added Long Chen hastily as a bargaining chip. Hearing that he was a pill adept, some interest sparked in their eyes again. If you join my sect, I can give you an inner disciple spot proposed one of them hesitatingly. Although that person opened his mouth, no one else did. Within a sect, inner disciples had an extremely special status. The sect would spend a great deal of resources on them each year, but if they wasted that much on a disciple without a spirit root, it still wouldn't be that worth it even if he was a pill adept. Although a pill adept had a special status, they could still be hired with enough money or you could buy medicinal pills directly. That was much more cost-effective than giving a pill adept the position of an inner disciple. Although he was a pill adept, it wouldn't necessarily be worth it. None of them were from small starter sects. Otherwise, they also wouldn't have the authority over this land. Thank you senior for your kindness, but this little one greatly wishes to join the Zhuanshan Monastery. Long Chen respectfully declined. That person nodded. Although Long Chen had declined, his words were extremely polite letting him at least know that he wasn't someone who didn't appreciate other people's kindness. Since Long Chen was so resolute, Tu Fang finally sighed. The Zhuanshan Monastery accepts new disciples once every three years. If you really want to, I can give you a registration card for this. Long Chen rejoiced. As long as he could join in, it would all be fine. He trusted that with his abilities, he definitely would be able to take the first place. The larger a sect was, the greater their foundation and hidden trumps were. That was the most important thing for Long Chen. 
What he lacked the most at this moment was such an opportunity. Senior, can I have three invitations? After all, we are three, said Long Chen with some embarrassment. This friend of yours doesn't need an invitation. He can directly join the sect, even becoming a core disciple, said Tu Fang. Long Chen's eyes widened with disbelief, while just blankly looked at Long Chen, not understanding anything that was going on. Not only him, but the other elders were also shocked. The Zhuangshan Monastery's selection of disciples was extremely strict. His body is special. It's somewhat similar to a senior in my sect, and I think that the senior will definitely be delighted when he sees him, said Tu Fang. As for your other friend, this junior sister can be a part of my Skywood Palace. The beautiful maiden who had never said anything up to this point finally opened her mouth. That beautiful maiden walked up to Chu Yao and smiled. Junior sister, come back with me to the Skywood Palace. Your talent can only be best groomed in my Skywood Palace. Chu Yao was startled and shyly looked at Long Chen. She shook her head. I don't want to part with Long Chen. So, that beautiful maiden glanced over Long Chen and shook her head. Cultivators must treat cultivation as the most important thing. How can you waste your talent just for love? Little fellow, she is a rare wood cultivator. You wouldn't have the heart to waste her cultivation talent, right? That beautiful maiden treated Chu Yao extremely warmly, but that warmth didn't transfer to Long Chen. Wood cultivator? What was that? Long Chen was puzzled, but when she said that confusing thing, the others had all gasped. Junior sister, here is a piece of earth spirit wood. Inject your source spiritual key into it. That beautiful woman handed over a withered piece of wood that looked just like a short rolling pin. Chu Yao received that withered wood with a bit of confusion. Seeing that everyone was closely watching, she became a bit nervous. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Try it. Long Chen gently comforted her. Long Chen's voice caused Chu Yao to calm down. Closing her eyes, she made herself relax as much as possible. She slowly urged her Danshan spiritual key into the withered wood. The source spiritual key was spiritual key that came straight from the Danshan without passing through any acupuncture points. It was the purest kind of spiritual key. Chu Yao had only just begun when Long Chen and the others were all shocked by the change in the withered wood. A new shoot had mystically grown out of it. That soft shoot slowly began to grow as she injected her source spiritual key. When it grew to the size of three inches, a small flower blossomed from it. A pleased smile appeared on that beautiful woman's face when she saw that small flower. This was all within her expectations. The moment she had first seen Chu Yao, she had immediately sensed something since she was also a wood cultivator. She just didn't know how great her wood attribute energy was. Seeing that a flower had blossomed, Chu Yao already had the qualifications to cultivate in wood attribute cultivation techniques. She had truly benefited this time, as wood cultivators were extremely rare, less than one in a million. Just as she was thinking about returning to the sect now, Another soft shoot grew out of the withered wood, and a second flower bloomed. Seeing that second flower, that beautiful woman's eyes immediately lit up, revealing her shock and excitement. But that still wasn't the end. That soft shoot continued to grow, and a third flower bud quickly appeared. Cough. Okay. Your talent is not bad. Don't drain yourself. You should rest. That beautiful woman carefully pulled away Chu Yao's hand. Sister, I'm not tired. I can continue. I know you can continue enduring for a while, but since it's your first time, it's not advisable to use that much of this kind of energy, said that woman solemnly. Yes, sister, assented Chu Yao. Junior sister, you really are pretty. My name is Hua Yu, and in the future you can call me Sister Hua. With such a pretty junior sister coming, everyone will definitely be excited. Hua Yu was so pleased that she looked as if she had become younger. Congratulations Elder Hua, your sect has grown once more. Congratulated Tu Fang. Tu Fang was extremely amicable with Hua Yu and had a great understanding of the Skywood Palace. It was extremely challenging for them to accept new disciples, and the birth of even a single new disciple was to be treasured greatly like one's own child. He, thank you, thank you. Hua Yu might normally do her best to remain calm and indifferent, but she was not able to conceal how excited she was now. Sister, I don't want to part with Long Chen. Chu Yao looked at Long Chen. Aya, foolish sister, the Skywood Palace and the Zhuangshan Monastery are neighbors separated by just a single mountain, a stone throws distance away, you can see each other whenever you want, smiled Hua Yu, really asked Chu Yao, of course, would sister trick you, if you don't believe me, ask them, am I telling the truth, Hua Yu asked the other elders, 
I'll testify that it really is separated by just a single mountain, swore one of the elders solemnly. It truly is just a stone's throw's distance away, added another elder helpfully. But for some reason, Long Chen sensed something odd between them. He was just about to say something when that beautiful woman walked up to Long Chen. She smiled and pulled against his arm, amicably saying, Long Chen, if you really want the best for your junior sister, let her come to my Skywood Palace. You won't throw her away just from being separated a bit, right, senior? Long Chen was startled by her intimate actions. What senior? Call me big sister. Calling me senior makes me feel old. After saying that, her voice dropped to a whisper that could only be heard by the two of them. Kid, if you don't accept, I'll have to humiliate you. Long Chen strangely looked at that expert who was able to keep up on such a warm and tender face while threatening others so directly. He was silent for a moment. Long Chen, if Chu Yao doesn't go to the Skywood Palace to cultivate, it really would be a waste of such a talent. Tu Fang finally also couldn't help but give him some advice. Well, since you've already told us that it's just a single mountain apart, we can just see each other whenever we want, smiled Long Chen. Only then did Hua Yu let go of Long Chen's arm and laughed. Little brother truly is great. This is how a true man is. After praising him, she then gave Long Chen a glance. Kid, at least you aren't stupid. Long Chen was speechless for a moment. Did all cultivators with high cultivation bases have something wrong with their brains? Or was it that the thoughts of experts were simply incomprehensible to novices? In the end, Long Chen and Wild decided to go to the Zhuanshan Monastery, while Chu Yao went to the Skywood Palace. They would leave in just a few days once all the details of the Spirit Stone Mine were ironed out. When Long Chen brought Chu Yao away, Hua Yu once more smiled like before and warned him quietly. Kid, before Chu Yao reaches Xi'anshan, too. She must remain completely pure and untainted. If you dare mess around, I will cut you into dog food. Chapter 118 A Solo Journey of 10,000 Miles Translator Born to be once Long Chen returned home. He stayed by his parents' side for the rest of his time. Now that he was about to leave, Long Chen treasured this remaining time all the more. There was one time when Long Chen and Chu Yao went to visit the Imperial Palace to see Chu Fen who was just blankly lost in thought when they arrived. What? Now that you're about to become emperor, have you been crushed by the pressure? Teased Long Chen. Chu Fen was delighted to see the two of them come to visit him. Brother Long, sister, how did you have time to come? We came to see if this future emperor was goofing off, and as expected, we weren't disappointed, laughed Chu Yao. Chu Fen reddened slightly and somewhat unnaturally said, the entire empire is in chaos now, that mess is now all my problem, and now I can't even sleep well anymore. Long Chen saw that Chu Feng's eyes were a bit redder than usual and knew that the pressure was getting to him. The best skill of a leader is to know how to use your people. Otherwise, if you do everything personally, you'll be drained to death. Since the beginning of the time, all smart rulers had a couple of skilled aides, while incapable rulers had disloyal officials. It's up to you to see through the good and bad in others. You must be perceptive and have a heart that is not easily deceived. In order to control everything, there are times when you must be ruthless and merciless. Long Chen's last words were said with such grim and serious intensity that Chu Yao and Chu Fen were both shaken. To be a ruler requires you to be ruthless. Not only must you be ruthless to others, but you must also be ruthless to yourself. Otherwise, it will be extremely difficult to maintain your position, warned Long Chen solemnly. Long Chen, Phoenix Cry is already calm and at peace now. The Grand Xia that was watching Phoenix cry like a tiger watches its prey has already become a complete mess of internal discord. Phoenix cry won't have any more enemies in the future. So why do you have to scare Chu Fang? Chu Yao grumbled. Sister, Brother Long is correct. To be a generation's true ruler is to be ruthless to oneself. This generation of enemies has been swept clean by Brother Long and Uncle. But once this empire is passed on to my descendants, they will also have to face powerful enemies of their own. If I am not ruthless enough and simply rule lazily, I won't set a good example to the next generation, and Phoenix Cry will begin to decline starting from me. By the time it reaches my grandchildren, the entire empire will probably collapse. Brother Long, I understand, said Chu Fang. I feel like calling me Brother Long isn't the best appellation. If you address me as your sister's husband, I will be much happier, smiled Long Chen. Long Chen, you, scoundrel. Chu Yao was innately someone sensitive and shy. She swatted Long Chen and ran off with a red face. Once Chu Yao left, Long Chen turned to Chu Feng and said, 
your sister and I are about to leave Phoenix Cry. I came here in order to say farewell to you. Pain flickered in Chu Feng's eyes. I already know. My sister and I have relied on each other for our entire lives. We were forced to play the fool just in order to survive. But now that we are finally free, we have to part. I know my sister loves you very much. I also know you will treasure her as much as you treasure your own life. So I'm reassured. Yup, don't worry. I won't let down Chu Yao, swore Long Chen solemnly. When Chu Yao and Long Chen were just leaving the palace, they ran into Fatty Yu. He was wearing court robes that made him seem extremely stylish. Brother Long, I found you. We've prepared a feast to send you off. How do you guys know about that? Long Chen was stunned. Do you even need to ask? There's not a single person in the capital who doesn't know about it. Quick, let's go. You can't go back home until you're completely drunk. Long Chen and Chu Yao arrived at the heroic assembly house. Shi Feng, Xiao Hao, and all the others were already there. Once Long Chen arrived, they all stood up to greet him. Long Chen, are you really leaving? Shi Feng was reluctant to part with him. Long Chen nodded. I want to go see that wider and vaster sky. Shi Feng, how about you come and take a look too? Shi Feng's eyes brightened but that light faded quickly and he shook his head. Ah, forget about it. With just my little capabilities, it's not even close to enough. How are you so modest today? Laughed Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> brother Long. Shi Feng isn't being modest. He's just unwilling to leave the capital. He's unwilling to part with a beauty. Explained Xiao Hao. A beauty. Long Chen. Don't listen to their nonsense. Shi Feng actually turned red. Brother Long. Shi Feng is your brother in the sense of friendship. But now you'll have another relation too. Laughed another person mysteriously. What relation? Long Chen became increasingly curious. He, in the future, you two will be brother-in-laws. Fatty Yu laughed mischievously. Long Chen and Chu Yao were both startled. They hadn't heard anything about this before. He, the crown prince has already played the matchmaker for the second princess and Shi Feng. In just a short while, Shi Feng will be able to bring a beauty back home. Long Chen and Chu Yao exchanged a glance. He could see the trace of astonishment and helplessness in the other's eyes. The first and second princesses weren't on good terms with Chu Feng. But in order to pull in the talented Shi Feng, Chu Feng had used the second princess as a bargaining chip. This was something that a ruler had to be able to do and was completely normal. But Chu Yao still felt a bit uncomfortable inside. Long Chen tightly held her hand beneath the table. Chu Feng understands how to protect himself. Isn't this a good thing? We can leave reassured. Chu Yao nodded. Long Chen was right. If Chu Feng didn't understand such tactics, she would be even more worried. Chu Yao suddenly smiled and looked at Long Chen. Long Chen, once I'm in the Skywood Palace, you have to promise to visit me often. You can't let anyone else run off with me. Long Chen indignantly said, Who dares run off with my woman? I'll knock some sense into their heads. Let me see just who isn't afraid. Although she knew he was purposely putting on an act for her, Chu Yao still laughed, her eyes filled with warmth. Knowing that Long Chen was leaving soon, everyone drank as much alcohol as they could hold. Long Chen's tolerance for alcohol was high, and in order to stay on the same level as everyone else, he drank directly from the jugs while they drank from the cups. Everyone laughed heartily, also crying occasionally. Other than Shi Feng, everyone here had had a dreary past. Now that Chu Feng was about to ascend the throne, these people who were friends with Long Chen were all favored and given illustrious statuses. That was all bestowed upon them due to their relationship with Long Chen. They all knew that once Long Chen left this time, they might never see him again in their whole lives. Once they were drunk, they were even less capable of controlling their emotions. Tears and lauders intermingled. Long Chen was also like that. Thinking back to his many years of bitterness and the still unknown future before him, all he could do was drink as much as possible. He knew that in the future, he would step onto a path that he couldn't return from. That path would be filled with blood. Perhaps he would never again have a chance to drink and forget his worries like this. Only once everyone had collapsed. Completely drunk. Did Long Chen carefully bring Chu Yao back home. Doddering and stumbling the entire way. Over the next few days. Long Chen never left his home. Just staying the whole time by his father and mother's side. But on the seventh day. News came from Tu Fang's side that they were prepared to leave. They had finally figured out how to distribute the Spirit Stone Mine's resources as well as set up a couple of people to oversee the whole matter. In order to avoid affecting Phoenix Cry's ordinary operations, they would extract the ore as fast as possible. It was estimated that they would be able to finish mining within half a year. 
but as for how exactly the ore would be distributed, no outsiders knew, but they were sure of one thing, the Bloodnet sect that tried to secretly monopolize the Spirit Stone Mine, thus violating their agreement and causing the other sects to become infuriated with them, would be unable to obtain anything from the Spirit Stone Mine. On the outskirts of the capital were enormous magical beasts lined up side by side. Their auras were terrifying, and each of their roars shook the sky. Long Chen, Chu Yao, Wild, and Little Snow were standing at the city gates, while Long Shiang Xiao and Mrs. Long were standing atop the city walls. Mrs. Long was tearfully waving goodbye to Long Chen. Chu Fen was wearing imperial robes. A golden crown rested upon his head. That crown should have only been worn after the official coronation. But Chu Fen had said that he wanted his sister to see what he would look like as emperor. Let's go. Hua Yu pulled away Chu Yao, bringing her atop a huge, bright sparrow. That bright sparrow spread its huge wings and flew high into the sky. Chu Yao's tears streamed down. She continued waving her hand to Chu Fen until her figure completely disappeared into the horizon. The others all stepped atop their own mounts, leaving one by one. In the end, only two Fang's iron winged arrogant eagle remained. Tu Fang looked at Little Snow behind Long Chen and nodded. It really is unexpected that you have a Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf as a companion. Then I don't have to be worried about you. Hearing him say that, Long Chen immediately sensed that something was off and said, Little Snow still hasn't matured and isn't that heavy. Your mount can definitely carry all of us. Tu Fang shook his head. First of all, although my mount is a third rank magical beast and can hold all of us, a magical beast will not let other magical beasts climb on top their backs. That violates their natural instinct. I am not a beast tamer and cannot completely enslave a magical beast. Thus, I cannot let your magical beast come up. Secondly, according to my Zhuanshan Monastery's customs, any disciples who wish to take the test to join the monastery must cross the wilderness on their own and reach the Zhuanshan Monastery within a set amount of time. This is also a part of the test. Tu Fang saw that Long Chen's expression was rather unsightly now and he hastily said, You don't have to be worried. There's still more than a month's time until the formal assessment. That's more than enough time for you. Here is a map detailing how to get to the Zhuanshan Monastery. Novaloon.com So then the three of us will have to travel to the Zhuanshan Monastery on our own. Long Chen couldn't help but feel indignant. Then why had they had to wait for them to leave? Not three, but two. Wild will go to the Zhuanshan Monastery with me. As for why, you already know, Long Chen cursed inside. This was a bit too unfair, wasn't it? But he could only endure it. Only when the magical beast had taken off and was high in the air did Wild suddenly ask, Wait, why isn't Brother Long with us too? Tu Fang, who was standing at the front of the magical beast's back, stumbled and almost fell. He looked back at Wild with a disbelieving expression, not able to say anything for a long time. Seeing that Tu Fang had already flown away on the magical beast, Long Chen rubbed Little Snow's head and bitterly laughed. Looks like the two of us are just going to have to work for it. Ayo ha? Huh? You don't want to lose to them? Then let's compete. Long Chen laughed and jumped it up Little Snow's back. Little Snow roared and turned into a ray of snow white light that charged towards the distance. Long Chen turned to look back at those figures on the city gate who were becoming increasingly small. When they finally faded away, he promised with a voice choked with emotion. Dad. Mom. Take care of yourselves. I will definitely return to see you again. At the same time, his heart was filled with a yearning for the future. Outer world, I'm finally coming. From now on, this world will now shake because of me. Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen's figure fade away, Mrs. Long fell into Long Shiang Xiao's embrace and burst into tears. It's okay. Our child has grown up. It's time for him to spread his wings and soar into the sky. Long Shiang Xiao comforted his wife. He knew that Long Chen's path would be filled with thorns and calamities. But as long as he didn't fall, he would definitely stand at the peak of the world one day. Chapter 119 Fourth Level of Blood Condensation Translator Born to be thick forests, high mountains, interweaving canyons, and the occasional roars of magical beasts. Deep within the forest, Long Chen's expression as he rode on Little Snow's back was extremely unsightly. That old bastard. Scoundrel. Crook. Long Chen continuously cursed Tu Fang. He had definitely been conned this time. When he had looked at the map, he had almost passed out. Within that one foot long map, Long Chen immediately saw the location of the Zhuanshan Monastery, but he had to look it over three times before he finally managed to see a mosquito sized dot in the corner that represented Phoenix Cry. Long Chen had been completely dumbstruck. 
He had searched for a neighboring empire and silently measured their relative distance on the map, then comparing it to the distance to the Zhuangshan Monastery. He was appalled to realize that the Zhuangshan Monastery was more than 10,000 miles away, and it wasn't even a direct path. There were several mountain ranges shown on the map, and all kinds of high-rank magical beasts appeared there. In other words, if Long Chen didn't want to feed himself to them as dinner, he would have to detour around them. Long Chen was absolutely livid. Tu Fang, that old bastard, had truly conned him. He wanted a blood condensation youth to travel this great of a distance? Wasn't that just sending him to his death? What Long Chen didn't know was that the Zhuangshan Monastery had extremely strict rules, and their selection of disciples was also extremely stringent. Long Chen had no spirit root, and so he fundamentally did not have the qualifications to be even tested. For Tu Fang to let him come like this was already an exception. In order to explain himself to the monastery, he made Long Chen travel this 10,000-mile journey through the wastelands on his own. If he did that just to obtain the chance to take the test, others wouldn't be able to say anything in objection. Long Chen calculated how long it would take. He would need to travel at least 400 miles a day in order to make it to the Zhuangshan Monastery within a month. If that was just on a flat, empty road, it would be nothing with little snow's speed. But within the wilderness with all kinds of crazy terrain, their journey would be much more difficult. Furthermore, they also had to be on guard against the attacks from magical beasts. After only traveling for a week, Long Chen had already experienced several large battles. There were quite a few magical beasts blocking their way, and they had all been killed by Long Chen. In this one week, he had traveled over 1500 miles. That speed was far from meeting his requirements. That completely infuriated Long Chen, but he was completely helpless. A blazing fire crackled. That fire rose over three meters into the air as it brightened the surroundings. Beside the fire was a large snake over a dozen meters long. Its scales and skin had been peeled off and it was currently on a stick, roasting. Long Chen and Little Snow barely waited until it was cooked before they devoured it. Long Chen didn't eat that much normally, but by gorging himself, he felt as if he was relieving at least a bit of that suppressed anger inside of him. Little Snow was wildly devouring his food far faster than Long Chen. Long Chen had only eaten a dozen pounds before the remaining meat all entered Little Snow's stomach. Generally, starting a fire and cooking food in the wilderness was an extremely dangerous action. All kinds of vicious magical beasts would be attracted over. But now Long Chen no longer cared that much. His time was pressing. He needed to use the least amount of time to hurry on his way. He would rush all day and cultivate during the night. As a magical beast, Little Snow's powerful physical body meant he could travel for several days and nights without pause so he didn't need to worry about this pace being too tiring. Furthermore. Little Snow didn't need to cultivate as long as he had enough meat. In any case, magical beasts were everywhere along their journey. They would just randomly choose one to eat. After eating, Long Chen would begin cultivating while Little Snow would curl up around Long Chen and doze. Little Snow ate to his full every day. With each day, his body grew. The current Little Snow had grown to become around 5 meters long and was now the same height as Long Chen, making him appear even more formidable than ever. Furthermore, each day his speed and power would evolve to a new level. That definitely surprised and excited Long Chen. As a magical beast that would be at the third rank once he matured, Little Snow was still growing. He grew stronger with each passing day, but with his current speed, they probably wouldn't be able to make it. However, as he matured, his speed increased greatly. To reach the Zhuangshan Monastery in a month shouldn't pose much of a problem. Long Chen was filled with gratefulness towards Men Qi. Sending Little Snow to him had been an enormous help. With Little Snow guarding him and his keen spiritual perception, no magical beasts could sneak on them without them knowing. That was why Long Chen could cultivate in peace. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes, and in just a few breaths, his spirit and heart entered a state of emptiness. Even in this kind of environment he was able to enter a perfect state of meditation. The 300 meters divine ring appeared behind him. A huge whirlpool of spiritual ki appeared as he greedily absorbed it into his body. The spiritual ki entered his Feng Fu star, which would then slowly circulate and compress the spiritual ki that was absorbed from heaven and earth, making it even purer. It would then slowly merge into Long Chen's body, entering his blood. And once that spiritual ki entered his blood, that slowly flowing blood would begin circulating quicker. Loud explosive rumbling like a flash flood would ring out, following the permeation of the spiritual ki. His blood's impurities were incessantly being forced out of his body. Those impurities would flow out like sweat. 
bringing with them an unpleasant stench. This was blood condensation. Condense the blood into its purest form, forcing out all the impurities. With such pure blood nourishing the physical body, it was as if the body would be reborn and become even stronger. Boom. With a loud explosion, the veins in his body widened and Long Chen laughed. After exhaling a mouthful of turbid air, he opened his eyes. The white color of dawn was already starting to rise from the east at this time, rubbing the jade pendant in his robes. A trace of warmth arose in his heart. This was the only possession his parents had left him. This piece of jade was absolutely magical and mystical, allowing him to eliminate his impurities at a shocking pace and letting him enter his meditative state almost immediately. That caused his cultivation efficiency to multiply several times. He didn't even sense the passing of time. He felt as if he had just closed his eyes when the sky had brightened. However, he could sense the change in his body. He punched out, causing space to shake. The wind from his fist directly knocked down a huge tree. My physical body has once more strengthened. Even without using battle skills, I already have such power. The blood condensation realm truly is unfathomable. Long Chen tightly clenched his fists, a passionate fire burning in his heart. He had now purified the blood in his body four times, causing his physical strength to explode to a point where even he was frightened. But the blood condensation realm wasn't the same as the key condensation realm. After purifying the blood once, it would require a period of time to let the body form more blood. The purified blood would be stored properly while new blood refilled the veins to their old capacity. Only then could you refine the blood again. Ordinarily, that would require half a month's time. But for Long Chen, he didn't know whether it was because of the Nine Star Hegemon body art or not. After his first blood condensement, he had only required several hours before his blood had replenished. The second time it had required a full day, and the third time two days. This was currently the fourth time, and Long Chen estimated it would take four days before he could do the next blood condensement. But in any case, the current Long Chen was now already an expert at the fourth vestige of blood condensation. Ao suddenly, Little Snow let out a howl and Long Chen hastily put away his smile. Fine, fine, let's go. Little Snow had seen that Long Chen was just foolishly laughing and smiling, and so he had to urge him into motion. Little Snow shot forward like a ray of white light, rushing on their way. Haha, <laughs> Little Snow, your speed is even faster than yesterday, praised Long Chen excitedly. Little Snow's speed had once more advanced, and in the future, they wouldn't have to rush as fast as they were. Ayo what? If you continue eating enough meat, you'll be able to keep increasing your speed? Okay, then let's see if we can kill a third rank magical beast today to get a good meal for you, laughed Long Chen. Continuing forward, the dense forest thicket faded away, revealing a barren land that stretched for thousands of miles. There was nothing that broke the unending field of yellow dirt and the air was filled with a desolate feeling. Long Chen hastily checked his map and nodded. They were still on the right way. This barren land was something they had to pass through. Carefully looking at the map and then using a piece of grass as a scale, he measured the distance of this desert and sucked in a cold breath of air. Little snow. This barren land continues for 1500 miles, and there's one section of it that is a true desert without a drop of water. We won't be able to run fast on the sand. So we'll probably need four or five days to walk straight through it. Can you handle it? Long Chen was a bit worried. The desert sand was too soft and so little snow's speed would sharply decline. Furthermore, it would cause even more exhaustion which was extremely disadvantageous for them. Ayo Wu. No, no. Just saying there shouldn't be a problem is no good. We have to be absolutely sure that it'll be fine. We can't do anything we aren't sure of. Little snow said he probably could do it. But Long Chen didn't dare risk it. Not eating for five days wasn't much of a problem, but to rush through a desert for five days with the sun beating down upon you without a single drop of water for relief was too dangerous. Even a magical beast's body would be unable to endure it. Long Chen thought about it, and they returned to the forest. Long Chen was planning on chopping down a couple of large trees and cutting out buckets from them, but Long Chen's luck was pretty good and he saw a field of bamboo trees. He didn't know what breed they were, but they were very long and as thick as a person's waist. Each stalk was over a meter tall, and they were practically the perfect water buckets. Long Chen cut off 40 of them in a single breath. Near there, he found a clear pool of water and filled the bamboo rods to their top, then placed them in his spatial ring. A spatial ring's inner space was completely still and he didn't need to worry about jolting the water out along the way. After preparing this, Long Chen felt much more at ease. With water, even if they didn't have food, 
they would still be able to support themselves for a long time. As they traveled across that barren land, the vegetation became even sparser until there was not even a single blade of grass and everything was just yellow sand. Waves of heat battered them, not much inferior to being within a blazing fire. In front of such heat waves, perhaps only pill cultivators, who were used to fire, could ignore them. Little Snow, are you all right? asked Long Chen. Little Snow didn't reply to him. He roared and sped along. As expected, Little Snow's speed was greatly limited by the sand. His current pace was at most 70 or 80 percent of what it had been in the forest. Furthermore, the soft sand exhausted even more of his stamina. When night fell, he had only traveled 250 miles. And that was because part of the way had still been dirt. Tomorrow it would all be sand. So they definitely wouldn't be able to go as far as today. The night within the desert was an icy cold that pierced the bones. A complete opposite of the day. The most helpless thing was that within the desert, Long Chen could absorb only next to no spiritual key. He directly gave up cultivating and just lay on Little Snow's body and slept. Ao laid into the night. Little Snow suddenly roared, rousing Long Chen awake. Chapter 120 Giant Desert Scorpion Translator Born to be Long Chen's eyes popped open. Although the night was pitch black, he could still see a huge silhouette from the feeble starlight, sending out his spiritual strength. He used his divine sense in place of his eyes. When Long Chen saw what that huge figure was, he couldn't stop himself from gasping. That huge figure was over 10 meters long. Two large pincers angrily snapped like the Grim Reaper's sickle, and behind it was a long tail with a stinger which was raised and pointed at Long Chen. Its two eyes were locked onto Long Chen. Obviously, it already considered Long Chen and Little Snow as its food. Giant Desert Scorpion Long Chen's heart beat wildly as he recognized this desert overlord. The Giant Desert Scorpion was also called the Violent Desert Scorpion. It was a second-rank magical beast, but even third-rank magical beasts would quickly retreat when they met it in the desert. One mistake and their lives would be lost. That was because the Giant Desert Scorpion was a killer that concealed itself extremely well. Its speed was incomparably quick within the desert. It had absolute supremacy in this kind of terrain. The soft sand might be a hindrance to Long Chen, but to the giant desert scorpion, the sand was like water to a fish. Even though its body was huge, the soft sand concealed any noise it made. Furthermore, its six legs made it so that it could travel even more noiselessly, approaching its preys without them sensing it. By the time they did sense it, the prey would already be dead. Its silent methods, powerful body, explosive tendencies, and invulnerable defense meant that within the desert, it was an absolute overlord. But the most frightening thing about it wasn't any of those. The most terrifying thing about it was its huge stinger. If you were stung by it, its poison would immediately infect your body. Even a third-rank magical beast wouldn't be able to survive it and would immediately die. The giant desert scorpion was also an extremely rare kind of magical beast that could fight across ranks. If it weren't for the fact that it only existed in the desert, its fame would not be inferior to the Scarlet Flame Snow Wolf. Even though Little Snow's extremely sensitive nose had managed to sense it, it was only 60 meters away now. That was how stealthy it was. All the fur on Little Snow's body stood on end as it angrily snarled. Little Snow immediately entered his battle state. Gee, the giant desert scorpion let out a strange cry as it charged forward at Little Snow. Despite its huge body, it was extremely nimble. Furthermore, its speed was even more inconceivable. A pair of large pincers cut towards Little Snow. Obviously in its eyes, Long Chen wasn't even worth looking at. Little Snow angrily roared and suddenly spat out a crescent wind blade. With its rapid revolving speed, it was just like a sickle that whistled towards the enemy. The current Little Snow was much stronger than he had been back in the capital. His wind blades now had a length of over 3 meters. Ding. However, what was shocking was that Little Snow's powerful wind blade, which could easily kill blood condensation experts and was even a threat to tendon transformation experts, was easily caught in the giant desert scorpion's pincers, simply emitting a light metallic ringing. The giant desert scorpion was only slowed down slightly before it once more sped up, not injured at all. What sturdy defense. Long Chen was amazed. It really was worthy of being the overlord of the desert. This kind of defense was something even tendon transformation experts would find difficult breaking. Breaking wind fist. Long Chen charged forward as Little Snow's second wind blade shot out. Although Little Snow was also a second rank magical beast, Long Chen knew that this kind of armored magical beast had a definite advantage over furred magical beasts. 
In front of the giant desert scorpion with its weapons and armor, Little Snow was unable to cause any real injuries. Boom. Long Chen's fist was originally aiming for the giant desert scorpion's head, but it was extremely crafty and used its pincer at this critical moment to block. Sand flew out as Long Chen's fist struck its huge pincer. Long Chen's physical body had reached an inconceivable level, so that giant desert scorpion was smashed deep into the sand. The ground seemed to become water with ripples flowing out. Not good. Seeing that giant desert scorpion disappear below ground, Long Chen immediately let out a startled cry and jumped up. His feet had only just left the ground when a huge stinger shot out of the sand. A single step later and he would have been pierced. The sand shook and began to ripple. Little Snow, be careful. It's hiding underground. Long Chen's expression was extremely grave. This second rank magical beast was as fast as the wind with incredible defense. Furthermore, they were fighting on its battlefield. If it continued on like this, Long Chen would find it extremely difficult to fight it. Little Snow was a beast suited to earth and land. He was unable to use his full force here. As time progressed, they would end up at a disadvantage. If they were hit by that stinger, it would definitely be over for them. They had to force it out. Long Chen's divine sense spread out, hoping he would be able to pinpoint its location. But Long Chen was disappointed. That giant desert scorpion was like a fish in the water, silently moving under the sand without a trace. Long Chen's divine sense might have a range of 300 meters in the air, but within the sand, he could only send it in about a meter, which was essentially useless. Long Chen now understood just why it was called the Desert's Overlord. In its specialized battlefield, even a third-rank magical beast would suffer a loss. Dodge, Little Snow. Long Chen suddenly shouted. Little Snow and Long Chen's spirits were connected. So as soon as he shouted, Little Snow immediately jumped to the side. A stinger shot out from underground and then once more returned. The sand then returned to calm again. Long Chen became vexed. If it continued like this, it would really be too disadvantageous. Now he and Little Snow had just become live targets. That kind of feeling was truly irritating. Suddenly, Long Chen stepped back. As he had anticipated, that stinger shot out once more, almost touching Long Chen's body. Let's see just where you can run now. Long Chen icily shouted. All of a sudden, Long Chen stuck his hand beneath the sand and he shouted. Pill flame. Boom. All the sand within 300 meters reached a terrifyingly high temperature. A miserable scream rang out as the giant desert scorpion jumped out of the sand. Little Snow, who was at the side, immediately shot out a wind blade. Green blood splashed as its defenses were actually broken through. Long Chen had just raised his head to see that scene. He suddenly noticed the giant desert scorpion's fatal weak point. Since it had only just jumped out, Little Snow's wind blade had managed to strike its abdomen. That was apparently its softest spot. The giant desert scorpion normally stuck near the ground, while any part that was exposed to the air had an armored shell around it which possessed a shocking defensive ability. But its weakest point was at its abdomen which was normally on the ground and would not be attacked. It was concealed extremely well, and furthermore, it could even hide within the sand. Thus, this weak spot was extremely difficult to notice. However, now Long Chen had found it. With this discovery, Long Chen no longer hesitated. Having been struck by the wind blade, the giant desert scorpion was flipped into the air, its weak spot still open. A long sword appeared in his hands. Parting wind slash. His sword arced across its abdomen, slashing apart its organs. Green blood and a stinky odor filled the air. Almost its entire abdomen had been emptied, but it didn't immediately die. Its stinger madly shot out in every direction as it descended into madness. Long Chen and Little Snow hastily withdrew. Long Chen knew the giant desert scorpion's life force was extremely tenacious. However, with such a severe injury, its death was doubtless. But magical beasts like it were not like other magical beasts. When they sensed death was coming for them, they would go crazy and attack wildly all the way until they died. That was why it was said that scorpion magical beasts were one of the most frightening types of magical beasts. Even if you smashed in their head, they were still able to stay alive for a moment. Within those last moments, they would have no consciousness and would just attack crazily. Its stinger and pincers continued to wildly rage, filling the sky with sand. It took a couple of breaths for it to finally stop moving. Long Chen ordered Little Snow not to approach and walked over to its huge corpse. Once he was several meters away, he paused to sense that its life force had truly faded away. Only then did he get closer. He slashed off its stinger. He was currently wielding the sword from the white-robed man so it was extremely sharp. It managed to cut through the armor plating, 
and with another slash, the stinger was completely cut off. The huge stinger was the size of a table. A yellow liquid trickled from it. That was the giant desert scorpion's poison. That kind of poison, as long as it reached a certain quantity, could even kill third-rank magical beasts. If used properly, it could be an extremely precious item. Taking off its stinger, its corpse lost any threat. Even if it was somehow faking its death, it would no longer pose a fatal danger to Long Chen. Looking over its huge corpse, his eyes lighted upon those extremely powerful pincers. From its very rounded outer shell, he knew the meat inside would definitely be high quality. The pincer shell was the hardest out of its body. Long Chen didn't need to break it apart as long as he just tore it at the links that connected the separate segments. If it was alive, that was something that was essentially impossible to do. But now that it was dead, it was naturally an easy affair. After collecting the pincers that were even larger than he was, Long Chen suddenly heard Little Snow's warning cry. He hastily looked around, his expression suddenly sinking. There were over ten huge figures quickly rushing over. Their speed was so great that they would probably arrive in just a couple of breaths time. Long Chen swore. Damn it. Giant desert scorpions are magical beasts that live in groups. How could I forget? He hastily jumped onto Little Snow's back. Quick. Run. Little Snow hadn't even waited for Long Chen's order before he quickly started fleeing. But Long Chen had still underestimated the giant desert scorpion's speed. A dozen of these second-rank magical beasts were now crazily chasing them and were actually getting closer. Long Chen turned numb just thinking about being surrounded by a dozen giant desert scorpions. But suddenly he saw a light ahead, and without even thinking about it, he urged Little Snow to rush towards that light. 